Hello? All right. Quick question, chat. Was I ever live at any point? Was I ever live at any point tonight? No? Do you know I just sat here for about six minutes talking to this chat room? And, 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 and thinking I was live? Mm-hmm. Yep. And you want to know why this happened? This happened because I didn't click the go live button in OBS and thought that I did uh, so somehow. Do you like that? Six minutes of speaking. Six. Six full minutes of speaking. Oh, something tells me it's going to be a long night. All right, let me try to remember some of the things that I said. Uh, I was addressing, like, I was addressing things that, that people were saying in chat, like, responding to things and shit. Alright. Point is, I paid for AI Dungeon. Which means that I'm going to stream it. I need to figure out what the end of the billing cycle is so I know exactly when to cancel it to get the most bang for my buck. I think that was the first thing I, sa I said. And then I explained how... Earlier today, when I realized I was going to stream this, I made a new Discord I'm, like, mad that this happened. I made a Discord channel. This is for anybody who's not in the Discord or didn't see this. I made a Discord channel where I was asking for people's custom AI dungeon prompts. Uh, and then I got... At least half of them are Don Cacino themed. Which I saw people... I was addressing people in chat saying, like, you know, hi... I should stop referencing Don Cacino if I don't want to see people say it. But the stream had to be titled adequately because half of the fucking half of the prompts that I have here are D Don Cacino related. Okay. So what do you give? It, it, it's an appropriate name for the stream. You got over half, over half of the AI, the custom prompts that you guys put in that channel. Were Don Cacino related? Now, if you're in the di don't don't bother putting prompts in there now because I'm not going to look at it tonight. I've already compiled a number of these from the channel. Um, again, ones that I thought were gonna were gonna give us a good time, right? Um, some of you guys, you know, you put really long ones. Y you want to keep them succinct uh, and stuff like that, and and some of them were just. I don't know. It did, didn't feel like we were going to get anything. But, but hey, this is AI Dungeon. You never know what's going to happen. So I've selected a handful of ones that I thought might be fun. Uh, they're all from they're all from you guys. Uh, don't get butt hurt if, or, or complain about it if if I didn't use yours. All right, just let's just don't don't do that. Um, Luigi guy says you can go into your account and hit on subscribe. Your subscription is active until the end of the cycle. All right, I'll fucking do that. I'll do that after tonight. Is what I'll do. As long as I remember to do it, my fucking power doesn't go out. All right. Okay. I think that was all I, I, I fucking said. I think that was much more condensed, but that was more or less everything that I that I had said. All right. New single player game. Let's dig in. Custom. Also, pilot wings. I hope you like it. Uh, let's start with this one. It's from Retrogade. It's a little bit of a, uh, a callback to a previous stream, which I appreciate. Uh, Retrograde, a.k.a. Goyas. You are a butler named Hudson. You're on your way to La Quinta Hotel to offer your butler services to the richest man in the hotel, John Armpit. All right, um, bringing it back, bringing it, bring an armpit back a little bit. I know armpit was a fan favorite. Um, what is La Quinta Hotel, and why does it sound familiar? Uh, you know what? Yeah, Vinehart, lock the prompt channel, and you know what? Like the next, the next time I do one of these streams, we'll unlock the prompt channel. 
and we'll let them. Cause I'm again, I'm not looking at it tonight. I more or less got the, I more or less got the ones I want. And if listen, if we go through all these and we're not satisfied, I'll go look in that channel again. But there's definitely enough in there, right? Unknown, thank you for the bits there. Um, do one of each people's per street. Some of you are just not gonna have your prompts used. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just not. Yeah, and they're not not to say like they're bad or they're not creative, but you kind of have to you have to play to the algorithm a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, there's a science to it. Uh, not all of your not all of your uh, your prompts are gonna get used. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. No, um, I picked I picked choice ones out of there, and there was there were some really good ones that I didn't pick because. Uh, I got a lot here, okay? I couldn't, you know, God, I, I don't intend for this stream to be four hours tonight. It's probably going to be a kind of a shorter one. We'll see what happens. All right. Basically, what I'm saying is that unknowns were shit. No, that's not what I'm saying. You're not listening to me. Oh, my God. Me and you have a lot in common, unknown. You know that, right? All right. Uh, music got a little bit louder. See, I have... This four-hour mix of all these Nintendo 64 songs that Fred gave me. But I don't think that they're volume mixed very well. Meaning, like, I'll have to go in here and adjust the volume occasionally. Alright. You're a butler named Hudson. You're on your way to La Quinta Hotel to offer your butler services to the richest man in the hotel, John Armpit. It's extremely low. Thank you. How about that, folks? All right. Is his first name Armpit, though? We got to talk about this, because this, this matters. This is important. Is his first name Armpit? Or is his name John Armpit? I think his first name might be Armpit. Uh... It's a family name. His name is John Armpit. We like that. We're going to go with that. John Armpit. Well, here's my here's my fear, right? That this thing is just going to start to call him John and, like, and not call him Armpit. Yeah, Armpit. The richest man in the hotel. Um, I, I, I'm going to try to insert a little bit of a little bit of flair. Um, a uh, uh uh, armpit was a cop in the last. Uh, uh, um, well, I mean, I don't know. Is he like? Is he a rich cop? Like what? A retired, uh, retired detective named Armpit. A reti he's retired now. He played the stock market. He made some smart investments. He let his four hundred one k build build up or whatever. Named Armpit. All right. Let her rip. Let her rip. It's ripping. He's looking for you, and his assistant is going to be there with him. As you drive along the highway, you see several police cars and ambulances heading towards the same direction as yours. All right, so maybe something bad happened to Armpit. That's unfortunate. There was an unfortunate Armpit-related accident. Yeah, Octane, do you want to try a different accent this time? What accent haven't we tried yet? Uh, change voice. Uh, I bet you French will just be completely unintelligible. It's just a French accent, right? He's been looking for you, and his assistant is going to be there with him. As you drive along the highway, you see... The robot is really quiet. It's at max volume, folks. So I don't really... I don't know what the answer is to that. Um... Yeah, I don't I I can't I can't make this any louder. Oh yeah, oh it, it 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 was it was speaking. Maybe the music needs to be quieter. Yeah, but now the music is going to be inaudible. Tab volume is max, dude. Nice suggestion, but the top, the tab volume is max. Turn it down to 0. 
And then and then back to 100. I doubt that's going to work, but it's worth a shot. No, that's wrong, because we don't have music. Uh, it's, it's Apparently, there's supposed to be music that occasionally plays, but I've never heard it. Oh, we did Italian for like two streams, Phoenix. Yeah, it was excellent. Did you guys hear it? You can hear it, but it's quiet. I don't know what I don't know what else to do because I've got tab volume maxed and I've got the actual app maxed, the app volume maxed. So, <clears throat> oh, you know what I haven't tried yet? Desktop audio. You know what? I could just make desktop. I, just, what an obvious solution this was. Here, this will work. It's been looking for you ever since you heard about the mysterious disappearance of his wife and daughter. The hotel is located at the top of a mountain overlooking a an old Spanish town called El Tepeyac, which has become a tourist attraction due to its beautiful wind. Th that's barely English. Turtle chow. Thank you for 17 months support. Completely fucking unintelligible. So, you're able to hear the music, and I'm going to assume it's not that loud. Uh, and I'm going to assume that you're actually now able to hear the motherfucking text-to-speech. Unintelligible. Have a nice day. The hotel is located at the top of a mountain overlooking an old Spanish town called El Tepeyac, which has become a tourist attraction due to its beautiful runes. All right, so we're in Spain now. Well, you know why we're in Spain? Because of La Quinta Hotel. And I asked you guys what the fuck the La Quinta Hotel was supposed to be and why it's familiar to me. And none of you answered me, or at least I didn't see it. Is it from a video game? Is it from a movie? What is it? It's an actual hotel chain. So the AI doesn't know that and just was like, okay, that's a, a, that sounds Spanish. Well, it is Spanish. You're in Spain now. Yeah, that's right. And I said beautiful runes. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Due to its beautiful runes. Okay. Um, enter the hotel and look for armpit. All right, let's find some armpit. You walk up the stairs to the second floor and open a door that leads into a small <laughs> corridor. What the fuck? There is no one there, so you head further along the corridor until you reach the other door with the two locks. The one the door of them the is broken and it opens easily enough. The door is easily enough. Jesus, this is bad. Uh, yeah, I also thought of the Overlook Hotel. There's too many frogs in his mouth. <laughs> That's racist. Uh, it's where you impregnated that woman in Spain back in college. Shh. Shh. That's not what happened. Is the voice too loud? No. Literally sounds like the guy has a loogie, Boggle Crunch says. That's, um... That's how you're supposed to speak French, though. Like, that's, that's how the language is spoken. With, like, perpetual loogie in the back of your fucking throat. Alright. It's a beautiful language. Just, just kidding. Um... <laughs> This fucking... This AI is, like, not gonna give us armpit. It's, it's already it's already doing something annoying where it's refusing to give us the armpit. It's, like, too focused on the hotel. And it, it, it's just ignoring armpit completely. One of them is broken and it opens easily enough. Okay, don't care. Do. Okay, find armpit. I'm getting to know the, the tips and tricks with this fucking thing. You walk along a narrow passageway until you reach the other side and find yourself in a room full of slot machines. There's no one there except a solitary Mexican woman <laughs> sitting in front of a machine that is spewing out a coin. <laughs> she doesn't seem to notice. Spewing? As you are looking around you, you hear the door slam behind you and lock in two places. Alright, still no fucking armpit. I was kind of hoping he'd open, like, he'd turn a corner. And he'd see, like, armpit sitting on a bed in a tuxedo getting a blowjob from a guy in a dog costume. 
Armpit is the Mexican woman. No, that's not who armpit is. How do you say armpit in Spanish, though? That might that might be pertinent information right now. How do you say armpit? We got any Spanish speakers here tonight? Pendejo. I know that's not true. Wait. Armpito. All right. One of these is going to be believable. I don't know which one it is yet, though. Sobaco? No. Mm -mm. He's a detective undercover. You think he's that good? You think Armpit is this good? You need to describe Armpit using the story command. We don't know what Armpit looks like, chat. You know, we never asked the AI what Armpit looks like. Alright. Uh. Alright. Buenos dias. Donde esta armpit? <laughs> On zero. Feel bad to the baby. Thank you for two years. Buenos dias, man. The woman slowly turns the to look at you and smile. Cotieres. You look more closely at her face oh. and realize it is the spitting image of armpit's wife. You feel a pound tear rush through you, but it is suddenly gone as she turns back to the slot machine. Why is there a pang of fear? Because she looks like Armpit's wife. Why are we afraid of Armpit's wife? Armpit! Yeah, Armpit lore. So, Armpit is married to... Uh, this Mexican woman. So, I mean, okay, so we're not in Spain... So, in, in Mexico, right, I assume, you know, there's, like, old Spanish towns in the sense that, like, historically, you know, it was, like, a Spanish colonial town. So, like, we are we are in Mexico. Where is El Tepeyac? Tepeyac sounds, like, aggressively Mexican. I believe we're in Mexico. I'm going to assume that this is... This La Quinta Hotel is in... in El Tepeyac and La Quinta are all in LA. Alright, thanks for filling me in on that. We're, we're in Los Angeles. Alright, but an, oh, what about an old... Is, is this, like, the place in Los Angeles? Is it an old Spanish town? She said, Que quieres, which means, what do you want? And what's annoying about that is that I just fucking told her. Guys. It's turning into an interrogation again. <laughs> it's it's going. It's already going to be. This is going to end with me waterboarding her where I sc scream in her face. Don't they start armpit. That's where this is going. That's where this is going. All right. Uh, okay. See, the tricky part is that it has to be in Spanish. Uh, donde? Uh, hmm. Fucking don't fail me now, high school Spanish. Uh, tell me. D D D me, dame, or something like that? Google Translate is your friend. Do we really want to... Do we want to drag Google Translate into this nightmare? Vivid Mango, you really think that's a good idea? Alright, maybe we can... Maybe we could simplify this, okay? Okay. Uh... Tu... Hab... Hablas... English. Make this a little easier. Yeah, that's that was my idea, Pyro. Mm. She doesn't answer you and seems to be ignoring you now. No. You go to Italy and she turns to look at you once more before turning back to the slot machine. You feel a strange compulsion to put your hand in your pocket and pull out some coin to play the machine, what? but you fight the urge <laughs> and faster towards the door. What? Uh, you walk past her towards the door. Alright, uh, this is annoying. Um. Need her to stop ignoring me. I don't like being ignored. It makes me angry. Alright, do. 
Okay. Uh, flip over the slot machine angrily. All right. Yep. That was the, that's where I went, hungry spy. I don't like being ignored. Okay. Also, I'm helping her with her gambling addiction, which she obviously has. You turn around to look at the woman and see her watching win a tenki. You feel more compelled than ever to flip over the slot machine, but the fight has quite literally gone out of you and you just slump against the wall and slide down it to the floor. Railroaded. No. No, I'm flipping over the slot machine. No, I'm doing this. This is happening. No. Mm -mm. No, he's gonna, he's gonna do it. So you mad that you pass out. Feel out point everywhere. She look over her shoulder at you and suddenly you feel very dizzy. Your vision narrow to a tiny point of darkness that curl up into a ball and disappear. You are standing in a large, dark space and can sense other here with you. Why does the AI dungeon constantly try to hijack your fucking story and, and take it into like, you fucking, you're unconscious and you wake up somewhere else. You get dizzy and faint. Somebody fucking stabs you with the needle and you pass out. You know, like you fucking get chloroformed. And then, and then, and then like anything you, you were trying to do is fucked because you're in a completely different place now. It does that constantly. It needs some improv, <laughs> improv classes. Uh, yeah, this is the, the dragon, uh, AI. Fabulous, Spunky. You, you better believe it, bud. You better believe it. I paid for it. Dovnin, feel back to the baby. Thank you for three months of support. Uh, I was wondering, uh, if we might want to fuck with the randomness a little bit. I really do feel like, it, it, as far as I remember, we got the best experiences out of this when this was at 1 1.0 1 i feel like the best shit came at around 1.0 like i think the pokemon story was at 1.0 i feel like we were at 1.0 that entire last stream like i don't think i fucked with this the, the last that last stream did i that was 1.5 hmm i don't know 1.2. Let's take it to 2. You kick the machine and it spill out coin everywhere. She look over her shoulder at you and suddenly you feel very dizzy. Your vision narrow to a tiny point of darkness that curl up into a ball and disappear. Alright, whatever, then what? Alright, I'll, I'll just, I'm not gonna fight it on... I, I'm not gonna fight it on this. I'm not gonna fight it on this. I'm you just gonna give it. You can see them, but you can feel them, and something about them is different. It feels as if their presence is heavier than it should be, and some part of you recognize what it is. They are dead. You look around and see a soft green glow coming from the other side of the space. So wait a minute, man. Are these ghosts? Because th this this actually is. It, it's going yeah. It's going into the shining territory. It is. Yeah. Uh, Vinehart thinks it was best when it was lower than one. Well, what? I don't believe we ever had it lower than one at any point. Did did we? And if so, what? Like, what prompt did we did we have it lower than one for? Right. Point six for a bit. Was it really? I'll tell you what, it was on point. You walked towards it and see a tank with the Alain Gaujon hit mounted <laughs> set on a concrete wall. In front of it, stand arm pee with his end behind his back. You walk up to him and try to speak, but no words come out. He look at you and smile sadly. You shouldn't be here. I am so sorry. All right, well, we finally got armpit. It actually remember. I, who else was thinking this thing for, forgot armpit existed? Um, 
I remember I, we so we were on 1.0 during the last stream. I feel strongly we definitely were on 1.0 for the Sonic the Hedgehog. You're you are Sonic the Hedgehog and you are pregnant. Which gate which we got amazing shit out of that prompt, right? We sued McDonald's. Right? The fucking cashier at McDonald's like fuck cursed me out and called me a homophobic slur because because I used the phrase way past cool because I was Sonic the Hedgehog and then fucking yeah and then and then we took a shit in the ball pit and then they sued me and fucking it was fucking nuts yeah like it was like things happened and then we we fucking got in touch with a lawyer and the lawyer all I all I did was say way past cool and this fuck this guy unloaded on me. I mean, listen, I I, I don't I don't condone the language specifically that he used, but listen, if you're fucking if you, if you're working at like if you work at McDonald's and somebody walks up to you and is like, yeah, if if I could get a, a number a number five biggie size that that'd be way past cool. You would you you you'd at least feel like I don't get paid enough for this shit, right? What if you said stool instead of cool? Way past stool. Bro, I asked for a chili dog. That's true. And chili dogs don't exist at McDonald's, which we did... We did discuss at the time. I was the one who took a shit in a ball pit, and we received $78 million of settlement money when I was the one who took a shit in the ball pit. Man, if only life was that easy. All right, here's what I want to do. We need to take a look at armpit. I want to know what armpit looks like because we never we never found out. Now I know that there's a way to make this thing describe to you what a character looks like. I remember we tried to do it during a pre a, a, a recent stream, and nothing worked. Right? Or there was a way that we got it to work. You need to use a very specific combination of vocabulary and. One of these actions. And I remember using a lot of your suggestions and none of them worked. Okay, so. He looks like an armpit. No, stop it. He has an arm for a head. Do. Uh, observe. Observe. Armpit. Observe armpit. Let's try observe. Isolden veritayerd, morceau zen you have ever seen anyone. Isol posture sim the two sag under the weight of the world and need the face is a mask of fatigue and depression. Jesus. You watch I speak sin a monotone voice while manipulating to joystick attached to the tank. The light flicker strangely and you feel an odd detachment from reality. Yes, yeah, so now he... Okay, so it said... You walk towards the space, and you see a tank with dials and gauges on it mounted on a concrete wall. In front of it stands Armpit with his hands behind his back. You walk up to him and try to speak, but no words come out. He looks at you, smiles sadly. Uh, he's operating two joysticks. Oh no, Armpit's a gamer! Attached to the tank. I'm very intrigued. I want to know what this, I know what this tank is. Describe Armpit's appearance. Yeah, we didn't really- I didn't really get the- the kind of description I- I- I wanted, uh, I really... I feel like there's gotta be another way to do it. Alright, you know what? I don't... I don't wanna... Diverge it too much, okay? Give him a hug. He seems like he could use a hug, right, Sook Daddy? Um, hmm. Look at the- the tank. Let's find out what's going on with- How about I ask him? You know what? Let's do dialogue. Alright. Alright, armpit. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What's going on, armpit? He's cloning his wife. That's why the woman upstairs wasn't his wife, but looked exactly like his wife. Wife he clones. You to release you. I don't understand. His voice sounds so far away and lost in itself that it is barely recognizable. Just like the narrator. There is nothing for you anymore. You have to go now. There is nothing for you here. 
but my family. They're gone. I want my family back. It turned into I want my family back. You know, the Italian accent was way more understandable than, than this one. It, and there were a couple of things here and there that were weird, but but this is completely unintelligible. He's trying to start the third impact. Y you're not giving me anything here. Give me something. So far, the AI is pretty doo doo, you, you Beren. So far. But we could fuck with it. To them? They're gone. His insistence on that single word is disorienting, and you feel away. Let me see them. You walk towards the men grab for the dial on the front of the tank but your end goes right through it. There is no physical for me to manipulate anything. This is bullshit. This is complete bullshit. Alright. Who's in the tank and what is it for? All right, let's see if we could get any anything even at least coherent at, out of this right now. He doesn't answer, not with words at least. Oh, fuck you. Rather, he manipulates the joystick one more and more green fluid ooze from the sides of the tank. It's not really fluid though, it looks more like plasma of some kind. This is confirmed when a strange man steps out of it. For a moment, all you can do is stare in a way. You know what I don't get, man? We we gave this thing a very simple prompt. Like, we're a butler and we're going to a hotel to to offer our services to a rich guy named Armpit. I don't know what the fuck. Why why are we why are we here? Like, how did we get to this so quickly? I turned up the randomness by two. The randomness was on one. He created a Guiji. <laughs> he did. <gasps> oh man, it, it, that's right. Cause he look just like Armpy. Right, he, he really. <laughs> he is younger and taller than Armpy, with stronger features. It is easy to see that they are related, but the paradox of him existing alongside his older brother is too much for you to comprehend. Who are you? His voice sounds as if he himself does not understand the question. So Armpit's been down here, like, playing EGAD. Maybe, dude. Armpit and EGAD are the same person. He just... He changed his name into something that he loves. Like, it's it, that's his, his alias. Right? It would be like if I called myself Tacos or something. Request omelette de fromage. Don't encourage this thing. Didn't Egad have an armpit thing? Yeah, absolutely. He had he had an armpit kink, and was like really really aggressively uh, trying to to coax Luigi into sending him armpit pics. Arm pics. Remember that? Man. Uh, his voice sounds as if he himself doesn't understand the question. I don't fucking understand it either. Alright, armpit. Tell me what the fuck is going on right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Alright, I want it I want this explained to me simply. It would be your voice start him out of his gaz and he at you with a blank expression. The name Sarold. You stare at him in disbelief and your thoughts begin to rass as you try to understand what is going on. That part is accurate at least. Harold Armpit? Harold Armpit. Uh, no, no, no. This is poop. Poop. You were being poop. I don't understand who is this and what is this place? This question may not make sense to you, but they're only have less than you need answers. Alright, you know what? Point seven randomness. He doesn't seem to hear you as his gas drift back towards the tank which has resumed its form and appearance. Alright. Smack armpit. Five fingers Sicilian style. 
Just smack him. I don't like being ignored. We went over this earlier tonight. You raise your hand then slap him across the face. Hey. He look at you with a mixture of anger and confusion but he says nothing. Why are you slapping me? You continue to look at him in disbelief before speaking. What the hell is going on here? What's in the tank? Is he gonna answer? Yes, that is the question, but is he gonna answer it? Is he gonna answer it? Answer it. Can armpit make a fart with his arm his armpit? Nah, his armpits aren't he for fart noises. And, begins to speak. and says what? His armpits are for interrogation purposes only. It is not important. You continue to look at him in disbelief before speaking. Are you kidding me? That thing has been driving me crazy for the past however long I've been here and now. You say it's not important? It's not important to you. Only I care about it. You stare at him trying to understand this meaning. Kiraj says it makes me feel like I'm on drugs. That's kind of like if if the fucking algorithm has any kind of like measure of, of consciousness at all, it, it's got to be like the experience of being in a in a sensory deprivation tank while you're just ha you have fucking pure LSD coursing through your bloodstream constantly. That that's your entire existence, like psychoactive drugs going through your your entire bloodstream. Like a fuck steady IV drip of psychoactive substances while you're in its sleep deprivation tank. Put a bullet through his brain. Put a bullet through his brain. Done. The narrator is not helping either, right, Kia? You well, I mean, you can read. Your gun and take it out of the holster. What are you doing? You aim the gun at him and pull the trigger. No. The bullet goes through his head and a look of surprise flash across his face as he falls to the ground. You stare at him in disbelief and shock before looking around the room. Eat the goo in the tank? Eat the goo in the tank? You want... Dude. Do you think this whole operation has anything to do with Gwyneth Paltrow? Eat the goo. Eat the goo. Get yumping. Mm hmm. Humph! Yump! Humph! Yump! Yum yum! Uh, Retrogate. Uh, Agoyas is so upset that I you killed Armpit. <laughs> <laughs> He's so upset. You eat the goo, and then the AI doesn't know what to say. Alright, this whole thing is pissing me off. New single player game. Custom. You are a butler named Hudson. You're on your way to La Quinta Hotel to offer your butler services to the richest man in the hotel. Uh, armpit. Let's try it again with like lower randomness. There was like there was just I was it was annoying me with how nothing it was. You are a butler named Dodson. You are on your way to La Quinta Hotel to offer your butler service to the richest man in the hotel, Armpy. Okay. And, 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 and. Buntime says, it's like those books or movies that want to remain mysterious, but can't think of a good reason why the main character doesn't get any answers. Look at this shit. Dude, that's the initial prompt. I did lower the randomness, Vinehart. You think- do you think that's why? 
Point A. You are a butler named the son. Point A. You're on your way to La Quinta Hotel to offer your butler service to the richest man in the hotel, Armpy. So one of the theories is that there's not enough information here. Do you think that this is too bare bones? The prompt is too vague. Just put it to one. If it's a problem with the prompt, then... Okay. That's a different story. You arrive in the lot. Should I put that in the in the prompt? Right? Vivid Mango says, In my experience, the shorter custom prompt... Uh, the shorter the custom prompt is, it gets confused very easily. Fuck. Alright. Well, I mean, I don't want to... I want to... I want to do the custom prompts. I think it's more fun. Um, you're on... I have to keep... If I have to fucking fix this typo one more time. You're one your way to the Quinta Hotel to offer your butler services to the richest man in the hotel. Armpit. Okay. You arrive in... Uh, arise. Rise, chicken. Rise. You arrive in the lobby... And you, you see armpit. Um, shoving. Uh, min mini bagels from the breakfast buffet into his pockets. All right, he's rich, but he's cheap. Polar. Free back to baby. Thank you for 15 months of support. See, Armpit, much like me, when he pays for something, he really likes to get his money's worth. You are a butler named the son. You're on your way to La Quinta Hotel to offer your butler service to the richest man in the hotel, Armpy. You arrive in the lobby and you see Armpy shoving mini bagels from the breakfast buffet into his pockets. This is ass fucked. Like, I gave you- I gave this thing more than enough, I think. Yeah, and I- and I paid for it. I want to have an adventure. Polar. Yeah, thank you for 15 months of support. Did I say that already? Uh, Jen, I have no idea what the new Twitch reply thing is, but it's actually annoying me significantly. This prompt broke the entire AI. The, the whole thing is, is, is down now for repairs. Nobody can use it now. You are a butler named the son. You're on your way to La Quinta Hotel yeah, re -roll to it. offer your butler service to the richest man in the hotel, Armpy. You arrive in the lobby and you see Armpy shoving mini bagels from the breakfast buffet into his pockets. Alright. Retrogate, I want you to know, I tried very hard to get something decent out of your prompt tonight. And I think you were able to see... I couldn't pull it off, I'm sorry. I tried my best. I tried my best, buddy. Six. Custom. Okay. This next prompt is from Nero Droid. Alright. Uh, do- Should I change the text-to-speech voice, by the way? Is that like piss- It's actually pissing me off with how unintelligible it is. Yeah, change it. Okay. Yeah, it's annoying me too. I'm going back to tried and true Italian. It was just too much fun. Alright. You are Mike Jabroni. You enter the Master Chef contest to win some mad cash, but your real mission is to grab Gordon Ramsay by the hog. And by hell, you're going to do it. Can I at least say Armpit is still alive? Yeah, Armpit's still alive. Don't worry about it, man. Man, why did you latch onto that character like with, with such a ferocity? You are Mike Jabroni. 
You enter the master Mike chef Jabroni. to win some mad cash. <laughs> but your real mission is to grab Gordon Ramsay by the hog and by hell. You're going to do it. Yeah, am I, though? Look. What is happening to this thing tonight, man? It, is it... Is it just too low randomness? Or maybe the prompt is too short? Maybe the prompt is too short. You are Mike Jabroni. Mike Jabroni. Mike Jabroni. That's fucking good. To grab Gordon Ramsay by the hog and by hell. You're going to do it. Well, it usually gives you a little bit more. It'll, you know, when you give it the prompt, it, it gives you something to start with. I'm going to grab him by the sausage. 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 Do something and see it. No, I think it's it's got to it's got to give me something. Uh, what about the length option? It's higher than the default. Maybe it's failing to meet the amounts. It's probably worth taking a look at. Uh, yeah, let's make it like 50 something. You are Mike Jabroni. Maybe that's maybe that's you the thing. I don't the know. Master contest to win some medo cash. Don't they want to like some sausage? To grab don't they want to like some sausage? You're going to do it. I can't believe this thing is being such a penis tonight. And and after I gave them money, I understand it being a penis for free, but like, what's up with that? Try adding a sentence at the end. Uh, okay. You. Uh, uh, you are invited. To the uh, where do they do that shit? Is Iron Chef and Master Chef the, the the same? I thought Master Chef was a Halo character. I thought the show that you were talking about was called Iron Chef. Murphy Sevic thinks that the servers are down because they tried to use it and it didn't work. Oh, if the servers are down, then I'm fucked in the ass. Um, yeah, then I'm then I'm butt fucked and loving it. Time for fall, guys. Uh, are we like ready to give up though? Cause this is, I don't like I don't like giving up on my plans. I I don't I don't like doing that. Once I have plans, I have to stick to them or. My life gets ruined, you know? I think it's... It's probably some, again, ADHD shit. Armpit... <laughs> Armpit was controlling the servers, and you shot him. <laughs> Two people said it was working fine for them now. Uh, well, I don't know then. I don't know then. This is... This is dicks. This is total dicks. You are invited to the set of the show, and you see something. Close and reopen the window. I could just refresh it. Can I just refresh it? You are Mike Jabroni. You enter the Master Chef contest to win some mad cash, but your real mission is to grab mad Gordon Ramsay by the hog and by hell. You're going to do it. You are invited to the set of the show, and you see. And you see nothing. Um, penis. This is penis. Uh, shift reload. Right, that that's supposed to do something. It... Have you tried turning it off and on again? Technically, yes. Actually. Alright. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna go take a rage a rage dump. I'm go I'm going to take a rage dump. I'm just gonna go take a rage dump. You are Mike Jabroni. You okay, it's rage dump time. To win some cash, it's rage. It's mission is to grab Gordon Ramsay. It's time for a grumpy head. dumpy. <laughs> a grumpy dumpy, yeah. A grumpy dumpy. No, uh, 
Guys, I've been having very bizarre uh, bowel movements today. It, it's it's really weird. Like I've I've gone like four times, and like each time it was just like one little doo doo nugget. Like I can't. It it it, it doesn't. Like they're playing coy, and it's 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 been terrible. I've ha I've been having a terrible fucking day with with this. So you know what I mean. Let me take let me take care of this. All right, and uh, in the meantime, you can just look at you can look at this. I'll try to be quick. I'll try to be quick. at me my pain is funny to you fuck you you're just like my fucking mom my mom's a bitch she's a total fucking bitch she's like yeah you should like fuck marry her and like cock my dad and stuff like go do that if you want to be just like her the phantom ruby is out of the way, way. we can we finally smash eggman egg into an omelet <laughs> get it because his name's eggman you can make an omelet with him too hey Whoa, the puns are flying a mile a minute. Look out. Oh boy, it's time to go fast on the highway. <laughs> Hope they don't have a speed limit. <laughs> Hope they don't have a speed limit because I'm Sonic the fucking Hedgehog and I like to go fast. Reg has an awesome an awesome uh, critique that he would write. Dear Sonic Team, first off, love your game, but I do have some critical glaring issues with it. Firstly, while the OC creation engine... Yep, cock. I'm so glad I gave these people money. I'm so glad that this this is now something that I I, I pay for, that I had I signed up for a fucking subscri subscription for. I'm I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Control reload. All right, that looked like that worked. Um, I closed the old one. All right, what if... All right, I'm just going to try this one more time. And then if it doesn't work, I want to try like a, a custom prompt or a regular non-custom prompt and see if that works. And then if that doesn't work, then this obviously this just stream is just canceled. Stream canceled. You are Mike Jabroni. Yeah. You enter the okay. Master Chef contest. New single player game. Uh, fantasy. Noble. Peebus. His name is Peebus. A bunch of demons. You look out the window and see a bunch of demons. Alright. Say. Ma! There's a bunch of weird looking demons outside! Ma! A bunch of weird demons outside! Apostrophe, you are shot the swift. A self-declared master thief and good purse. You have stole weird allies, gold and the crossbow. You are Chode the Swift. A self-declared master thief and cut purse. Yeah, um, what? Like, did, did, did something happen to this thing between the last time I played it and today? You begin to head downstairs when you realize how stupid that would be. Instead, you barricade the door to your bedroom, arm yourself with your grandfather's sword and get ready to fight. What's a cut purse, Sook Daddy? Oh, that's people who, like, 
stab other people's testicles. Octane, thank you for the queen of uh for the queen of waffles. Thank you. Welcome to the family, Queen. Queen, thank you for the gift sub. The AI had a bit too much to drink. Put it back to 1.0, you chicken dildo. Okay. But only because you asked nicely. You begin to head downstairs when you realize how stupid that would be. Instead, you barricade the door to your bedroom. Arm yourself with your grand for the I want... and get you say ma. There are a bunch of weird looking demons outside. I want my mom to be a character. I'm gonna refresh this until it accepts my mom as a character. You run toward the door and the servant tries to stop you, but you stare with your dagger. She's compelled to tell the truth, so she tells you that she is actually a demonic entity in disguise. My mother is, and I stab. Oh, the servant. Oh, okay. Why? Why is this such ass? Uh, hold on. Go back to Griffin for a while. Do you do you really think I should? I don't want to do these prompts. I want to do the guys. Some of these custom prompts are are so good. Like we have we have to do them. We have to do them, Griffin. You know, the free one. You run toward the door and the servant tries to stop you, but you stare with your dagger. <laughs> She's compelled to tell the truth. Ah, not now, Bianca. Bianca your replies. The guards are fighting them off, and the king is probably Fina too. I'm scared. Bianca says, "I don't want to die." Excuse me, my name is Peebus. Uh, not now, Pe Peebus. We could just edit that, right? Pe Peebus. Bianca, what the fuck? Oh, you have to edit it here. Whoops. Pe Peebus. I'm sc I'm scared. Pe Pe wait, wait a minute. Who, who, who the fuck is Bianca? I thought I was... Pe Dude, I thought I was Peebus. Peebus and Bianca. <laughs> Alright, man. I You know what? This thing is making me so mad tonight. Hey, you know what? I mean, that that's AI Dungeon. Y you never know what you're gonna get. Your runs into your room and hugs you Here we go. You two have never really bonded as you were brought up very differently. Your mother is a human woman and a nurse on the royal medical team. You have no father. Okay, that's cool. Um, It's like trying to work now? Uh, you have no father. I'm a bastard. Okay. Uh, Ma, what do we do about the weird, weird demons? Weird, weird looking demons outside. What do we do? We fight man. You say she left a little and kisses the top of your head. How old am I? Sag says I feel like it's trying to force since that. I don't. I don't think we're there yet, man. I don't think. I don't think we're there yet. All right. Um. You go outside to fight the demons. I right, we're gonna go fight the demons. I don't know. You go out your door to see a sea of blood red demons. Every color under the rainbow, from red to purple, to rainbow. blue and green. Some have shapes that are nearly human. Alright, uh, kick the nearest demon in the deck. <laughs> the nearest Incest demon evaded. Pain and clutches it growing as it falls to the ground. It will it on the ground in agony before dying from your kick. Ah, told you to watch it. Your mother, your mother comes up to you. And then what? Maybe we didn't avoid the the weird. Come on. We need to get out of here before the rest of them show up. You know then follow your mother as you make your way through the forest in the direction of the nearest town, twelve miles away. I really wanna do the custom prompts. I don't wanna do this shit. I really want I really wanna do the custom prompts. I mean we if do we got this we should attend why would one. this work you but the custom prompts would the other demons? No, we keep going like nothing happened. You know the agreement and continue on your journey. Journey to what? 
Yeah, she's just a supportive mom. It's not weird at all. The closest town with the military Full garrison. s'more. You are exhausted and want nothing more than to crawl into bed and sleep for the rest of the week. However, you know your mother. What is she gonna want to do? She's gonna want to go binge drinking. What? What do you want to do, ma? Ma? What do you want to do? I want to report this to the military. They can find out what going on horrible you shrug and follow your mother into the town's barracks. You enter a room with a few military officers, all of whom are human. You just fucking told me that you didn't want to tell anybody. And now she wants to tell everybody. Luigi guy says, edit a new story to have the custom prompt as the text. Alright. You mean... One of these prompts, Luigi guy? Is that, what, is that what you're saying? So just use, like... One of the top five? <sighs> okay. Uh... Uh, all right, man. I mean, listen, I, I, you, you can't do that because I can't fucking grab Gordon Ramsay by the hog in, in a fantasy setting. Like, how's that going to work? Like, they didn't have Master Chef. Like, it, it, I can't do it in a zombie apocalypse. Like, it's just, it's going to be stupid. Like, I'm going to try to be grabbing Gordon Ramsay's dick and then the, the zombie is going to bite my hand off. It's, it's not cool. In a mystery setting, you think that one's the least offensive? All right, I'm uh, a, a, a spy. Enter your character's name, Mike Giaproni, because that's what it says in the prompt. An upcoming meeting to plan the delivery of weapons to a group of ex-guardsmen in Northfield. You decided to kill them all and take their weapons. Okay, so just completely disregard that, right, Luigi guy? And then you want to go to story... And then just put the prompt. And just put the prompt. No. Click the pencil. Hit the, ba the back arrows that show up until you're at the st start. Right? And then paste the prompt. Like this. Huh. See if it works. An interesting strategy. A bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. D do it again to delete everything else. W what? The process of trying to make the restaurant better is enjoyable, but the challenges really test your will. You learn that even when you think you are alone in this, there are people that carry. Your breakers, milk chair breakers. All right. Um, who's milk chair breaker? You pro the process of trying to make the restaurant better. All right. What restaurant though? Maybe, maybe they think like. Maybe this is the type of thing where it's like restaurant rescue. Like remember when Gordon Ramsay would go to people's restaurants and try to fix them up and make them not shit. Remember that show? Maybe this is like that? Is this like that? Alright. Milt. When is Gordon Ramsay getting here? I need to grab his hog. <laughs> I love the word hog. <laughs> Milt looks at you, rubbing his chin. Eh. I think should be here next week. Great. Next week is good. I need to get the old beast into the ring and break him in. You replay with a <laughs> smile. <laughs> All right, well, the AI definitely thinks that we're talking about a pig, but this still works. This still works. All right. Um, uh, story. A week goes by, and Gordon Ramsay 
arrives at the restaurant. You resist the urge to immediately grab his hog. His hog. All right, we gotta. You gotta wait for the right moment. Otherwise, you're gonna, we're gonna scare him off. That will come later. For now, you'll enjoy the hell out of verbally destroying the man. I am a busy man. He says as he sits down. You resist the urge to immediately grab his hog. That will come later. For now, you'll enjoy the hell out of verbally destroying the man. But isn't that what Gordon Ramsay does to you? Maybe this is like our turn to fuck him up? I mean, I was looking forward to getting dis verbally destroyed by, by Gordon Ramsay, not, not the other way around. Oh. Gordon Ramsay. You're a dumb slut and a shit chef. We only wanted you here uh, for the uh, newspaper articles. Because you know how, like, Whenever, whenever one of these celebrity food people go to a fucking restaurant somewhere, right? Like, the local papers and everybody will be like, Oh, look! Oh, oh, fuck, look! Oh, Gord Gordon Ramsay came here! Oh, my God! And then, like, that restaurant will get a bunch of business because of it? Yeah. The new paper articles. If it makes the AI go ballistic... Do you want to order your drink? Sure. A glass of milk. You replay in a board tone, making sure to use the word milk. Wow, so Gordon Ramsay's just laying down and taking it, huh? He's not defending himself. He's the, This is not the Gordon Ramsay that I know. Like, maybe, is it possible that the AI has absolutely no idea who Gordon Ramsay is? You want to order your drink, you donkey? Um, hmm. Maybe it's an imposter. Punished Gordon. Alright. Okay. Do. You drink your milk. Um. You greedily chug your milk before smashing the glass on the floor. Good choice, that was Milt's favorite drink. Before I fire his worthless, rotten head, we need to cook Okay. Some. Now, what can we cook today that involve fire? I'm not following. Do you like cooking? So... Gordon Ramsay is being- he's- he's acting like Gordon Ramsay in- in relation to... Milt Cher- Cherbrier? Cherbrier? But he won't act like that towards me for some reason? Like, he's afraid of me? For some reason? Do you like cooking? Do you like a cook? Stop trying to change the topic. What I wanted to do was smash the glass and then demand that he cleans it up. We're verbally abusing Gordon, Le Gordon Ramsay. That's what we're doing. Alright. Clean up that broken glass. Gordon... You shitty little bitch. You shitty little bitch. All right, all right. You take a deep breath and calm yourself down. Sure, I love cooking. How hard can it be? Hard or not, you need to learn. Now, let's cook. All right, so despite me verbally abusing Gordon Ramsay, he still seems willing to teach me how to be a better chef and improve my restaurant. All right. Uh, do. Go into the kitchen with Gordon Ram Ramsay. Alright, see what happens. You watch Eddie grabs a bottle of wine, a bunch of spices and a lighter. He then looks at you. Okay, and then what happens? 
watch me cook. She says with a cheeky grin. A cheeky she grin. She a glass of wine and throws the lighter on the table. She then grabs the bottle of wine and pours some into the glass. Okay. That's not cooking though. When does he cook? She takes a sip and then burns the tongue with a wheel. She looks at you. <laughs> this wine is not warm enough. She frowns. She grabs the bottle, pours more wine in the bottle. glass, and gives it another stir. Hot wine. Like, Gordon Gordon Ramsay, he likes his wine hot. Like, he likes it coffee temperature. Like, <laughs> he's drinking hot wine, okay? Hot wine. All right. Um. All right. Teach me how to cook something. Jerk off. Jerk off. I'm calling him a jerk off. suspicious look. Fine. What do you want to cook? How about some pasta Alfredo? Fine. Pasta Alfredo. All right. That's that's cool. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. This wine is raw. It's raw. Pasta Alfredo and garlic ice cream. Um. Mulled wine is a thing. Uh, yeah. what's up, Hunter Masashi? Thanks for coming. Yeah, that's meant to be to be drank warm. Typically, like warm, not hot, but but warm. It is a thing. All right. Well, all right. I guess. I guess I'm a penis then. Um. Go ahead, make the pasta. Make it. Says, taking a deep breath, she grabs some spices and puts them in a bowl. She then grabs a carton of milk and puts it on the table. You know, milk is actually involved in the in the uh, in the recipe for that pasta sauce, the Alfredo sauce, or like heavy cream at least. Man, you think the AI knows like an actual like correct recipe to make pasta Alfredo? You think it actually... Hmm. Whipping cream. Why the hell is there a carton of milk on the table? You ask. It's important to keep spices and other things at room temperature. Now shut up and watch. Oh, shut up, you fucking moron. Uh, he's actually... He's starting to become more Gordonly as as time goes by. He's becoming more Gord Gordon-esque. Uh, hmm. Let's watch. Let's watch. She pours the milk on the spices. Let it sit for a second and then sprinkles in some of the spices. He tosses the rest of the spices on the table and takes a deep breath. Do you think he's sufficiently distracted enough to try to grab his hog yet? Is it hog grabbing time? Not yet? Not well, yet? Okay. That's how you make pasta, Alfredo. He grins. Do you want me to make this awesome? How are we gonna have pasta Alfredo without the sauce, you fucking donkey? You fucking donkey. He says, you really slow, I'll give you that. <laughs> he goes over to his bag and pulls out a large textbook and a notebook. He opens the book to a random page and starts to read from it. Alright. Make the sauce. So Chad is thinking that the sauce, the white Alfredo sauce, might be locally sourced from Gordon's hog. Do you think he, he has he has enough uh cereal soldiers to make a sufficient Alfredo sauce, a sufficiently thick Alfredo sauce? Or do we have to have him read that WikiHow article first? The hog sauce. What's in the book? Spaghetti alla chitarra is a pasta dish popular in Emp, Italy. Emp, it Italy. It of din. Trini pieces of pasta with tomato sauce and parmigiano-reggiano cheese. Man, we definitely went with the right text-to-speech voice <laughs> for this. Mike, I think you're both Gordon Ramsay. So we're both Gordon Ramsay now? That's not Alfredo. No, he's fucking... The AI beefed it. That's not Alfredo sauce. That's not the recipe for Alf Alfredo sauce. 
Shithead. Shithead. No, it sounded familiar. I can't be sure though. Well, I'm reappending the figure out the song. You're wasting my time. All right, all right, calm down. He says, flipping through the book. So Gordon Ramsay, he's he's not that you know aggressive or mean to me at all. He's not being a dick to me in any in any way. He's not acting like Gordon Ramsay. He he doesn't know these recipes off the top of his head. Like Gordon Ramsay definitely knows how to make an Alfredo sauce without having to look up the recipe. He shouldn't need this fucking book. So what the hell is going on here? Hmm. You're teaching him how to be Gordon Ramsay. It's the Gordon Ramsay origin story. Okay. Okay. Proto Ramsay, the prequel. Is it time to squeeze his hog? All right. Gordon. Why are you so angry all the time? Let's get some real origin story. He says, I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. Now, pay attention. This is what you need to do. He grabs a knife and begins to cut up some potatoes. Potatoes in the Alfredo sauce? I don't think potatoes are invo involved in Alfredo sauce. Try Dragon AI now? Okay. He says, I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. Now, okay. pay attention. This is what you need to do. He grabs a knife and begins to cut up some potatoes. Alright, should I try to squeeze the hog while he's cutting up potatoes? He does have a knife in his hand, chat. What if it doesn't go well? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. He's got a knife in his hand. It could be hog time. It could be hog time. Reach over and squeeze Gordon Ram Ramsay's <laughs> hog. V you know what? Hold on. Vigorously and vigorously squeeze Gordon Ramsay's hog. <laughs> now, here's the question, right? Here's the question. Is the AI going to realize what we mean by hog? Or is it going to think it's an actual pig, chat? It's going to be an actual hog. Let's find out. What the hell are you doing? He screams in agony. Just giving your arrogant, obnoxious personality a taste of reality. You filthy swine. Now cook my food. You filthy swine. <laughs> Alright, so, like, it kind of... It kind of does know who Gordon Ramsay is. Oh my god, that was it. We squeezed this hog. It did, it did, it did, no. But check it out, it called him a swine. Which is obviously related to hog. Like, do you think that's why it called him a, a swine? Like, it's doing word association or whatever? He is the hog. Maybe it... Well, it's, I said Gordon Ramsay apostrophe S hog. Man, this is bizarre. I mean, I'm feeling kind of unfulfilled by this. Like, this wasn't... Like, I was hoping for more of a, a kind of a reaction out of, the, out, of the, out of Gordon Ramsay from squeezing his hog. All right, a couple things... KXZ said that I should turn off direct dialogue. Uh, and then I should... Because it confuses... The AI confuses itself when you have this on, right? Um, and what if we make this a little bit... A little bit higher. And we make this just, like, a slightly higher. What the hell are you doing? He screams in agony. Just giving your arrogant, obnoxious personality a taste of reality. You filthy swine. Now cook my- You filthy swine! Okay. Squeeze... Gordon... Godron. 
Gordon Ramsay's hog like a stress ball. <laughs> Squeeze the hog. Crazy hands in the feet. All right, all right. <laughs> I need some bacon. Why the hell do you have bacon? It makes food taste better. So does butter and oil. Oh, no, no. It, it, it doesn't know. It doesn't know. Or it doesn't know what we're talking about. It doesn't know what we're talking about. It doesn't. It doesn't. Man, what a fucking shit show. You know that Ramsay is spelled with an A? Nope. Maybe that's why the thing has no fucking idea who Gordon Ramsay is. You know, the person who gave me the prompt initially, like, actually spelled the name correctly. They did. Reach into his pants and squeeze his hog. No, I don't want to take it that far because I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't want to force it to be weird. I want to, I want it to kind of, I kind of want it to get there on its own, you know? Why the hell do you have bacon? Give me the cream, boys. Squeeze my hog. I like that, Gorgonize. Nice. All right, let's just press enter and see what happens. You spelled it wrong the whole time. Yeah, Why didn't anybody try to tell me? Fat American. I needed a bacon. <laughs> and so the events of the day unfold, and eventually you find yourself with a plate of delicious, greasy food in front of you. Yeah, but I'm a dirty, fat American. <laughs> I need the bacon. Oh my god. Gordon Ramsay, do you hate Americans? About that. Mr. Z, you end of his eyebrows? Sure don't. Yeah, he just doesn't want to get his hog squeezed again. Alright, well, I don't know. Listen. Nero Droid, I did my best. Uh, I did squeeze Gordon Ramsay's hog. I did it. I got there. Uh, it kind of wasn't. It wasn't a straight path. It wasn't a. It wasn't a very satisfying path to hog squeezing. It didn't go the way I, I think any of us thought that it was gonna go, especially you. But uh, I did squeeze. I did squeeze his hog. I did. All right. Want me to squeeze your hog again? He holds up his hand defensively. All right, all right. You grab another slice of pizza <laughs> and spread it generously with Alfredo sauce. As the cold gooey mix cherries your taste buzz, you close your eyes and savor the deliciousness. <laughs> You spread Alfredo sauce all over the pizza? I'll tell you what. If you use Alfredo sauce instead of tomato sauce to make a pizza... That could be cool. That could be really cool. That could be really fucking cool. Yeah. It's probably been done. I'm gonna imagine that's been done. Like, you could find some pizzerias around New York City especially that do... Specialty slices like that. Pizza pasta, put it in a box. Alright, well. I'll tell you what, we can infer that the Alfredo sauce is actually Gordon Ramsay's hog juice. So if that's what you were going for, you wanted this to be dirty and weird, you got it. Okay, you got it. You're welcome. Okay, new single player game. Dare we try custom prompts again? Thank you for the bits, Barber Bun. Dare we try custom prompts again? Now, this one is from That Usar. Is their name on the Discord. And... I made a couple of changes to your initial prompts. You were John Arbuckle. You are making some lasagna for your pet cat, Garfield. When you suddenly hear a knock at the door. You forgot about 
your your date with Liz. But if your cat is on fed, there will be hell to pay. And also, there's no H in John Arbuckle's name. Thank you, chat. All right. Let's roll the dice. You and Siri tend to find yourself face to face with an old man in a business suit. He looks like he has seen better days, but then so have you. The two of you stare each other down as the man speaks. All right. Uh, I guess Liz isn't here yet. What hap- well, who is- who is this? The AI doesn't know what to say. Alter, undo, or try again. All I did was press enter. Do. This thing is shit in the fucking bed tonight, man. Like, I never seen this like this. Holy fuck. Garfield is too powerful. It's still broken, yeah. You open the door and see a man in a business suit standing before you. He looks like he knows what he's doing. But you don't know him well enough yet to make up your mind on that. He knows what he's doing, but you don't know him well enough to make up your mind on that. Okay, say. Who are you? Uh, uh, can, how about, can, can I help you? Uh, well, John Arbuckle, uh, is an incel, so how do incels answer the door? Like, what do incels say when they open the door for people at their house? What's... They don't. Alright, well then, this isn't gonna go anywhere. The man seems surprised by your answer. John Arbuckle. Well, it's just me, so I'm not sure why you're here. But as far as I can tell, this is a private residence. Can we talk about something else? This thing is so fucked right now. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't even, like, try to make sense out of this. Slam the door in his face. Yeah, now it's in a play format, Greediest Grin, or a screenplay format. Best not to talk to the train man. You go back into the kitchen and pour some gourmet blood for Garfield. Gourmet blood? But just as you are putting it on the table, oh. you hear a scream from outside. The scream came from the garden. So Garfield is, is a vampire? Is that what, what's going on? What is it? That's just because I disabled the direct quotes, right? Alright. Alright. Uh, go outside with Garfield to investigate in, invest to gate the scream. Okay. Gourmet blood. Garfield seems to like that idea. He runs ahead of you and when you get outside you see the same man from earlier sitting in your garden, still looking at you. I don't think he's here to sell anything. You pick up Garfield and hold him tight. Gourmet blood would be... I, I guess what would make the blood gourmet, because somebody in chat's like, what? how do you make gourmet blood? I think the only thing that matters, it would be, like, who the blood came from. Like, I think some people would be considered, like, gourmet. Somehow. Like, maybe a athletes. People who are in, who are in like, peak physical uh, condition, and they don't, they don't have any kind of uh, diseases or something that would affect their blood or, or some shit. I, I love this music so much. It's so distracting because of how much I love it. Virgin blood. You know, I don't I don't get the fucking the, the, the fascination with virgin blood for vampires. Is it just because like you, you you're guaranteed to not get an STD from that? Like it's impossible that there could be an STD in there unless it was like they fucking they've had it since birth somehow, because I think that happens. Probably, yeah, yeah. They could just get incel blood. Virgin doesn't mean sexual virgin. It means never used for anything else. Like virgin olive oil? Right, botched blood transfusions too, helix snake. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's other ways to get, to get like, STDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's not a guarantee. Mm. Oh. You pick up Garfield and hold him tight. Let's 
getting weird. There's a, lo a, a line from what we do in the shadows. You'd prefer to have a sandwich that someone hasn't put their dick in. All right, yeah, but I mean, you're not... That's a that's, that's, bad analogy. Bad analogy. All right. Okay, do. Yeet. Garfield. <laughs> Into the man's fist. Do you think that the AI knows what yeet means? Yeet. Sulfur. Feel back to the baby. Thank you for four months of support. Yeet. You jump with all your might. Sending your kitten into space. You must have nailed it. Because the man doesn't even try to dodge. What? Instead, he grabs the scruff of your neck and throws you down in a split second. Your head hits the ground hard. Wait a minute, am I Garfield now? He grabs the scruff of my neck and throws me down. I think I'm Garfield now. <laughs> I think I'm Garfield now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, I eat lasagna now? <laughs> sure you could go for some lasagna! And the man jumps on top of you. He seems to have recovered from the lasagna <laughs> and you. You, you are about that? to scream for help when you feel a sharp pain in your chest and realize your rib has been broken again. <laughs> Dude, what lasagna? <laughs> what? what lasagna? Oh my god. Dude, this is fucking silly tonight. This is... Oh, my God. Oh. Like, the lasagna... Like, you had... Like, we both had lasagna. And it gave us, like, the itis. You know? Like, we went into, like, food comas because we had so much lasagna. And it was very heavy lasagna. I consume, John. It's what I do. All right. Um. Toss the hot lasagna... Into the man's face. No, AI Dungeon is dog shit tonight for Herbalicious. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's you dog shit. You can out of your shirt and throw it on his face, but he doesn't even react. The pain is too much and you lose consciousness. You awake in a hospital bed several hours later. Your body aches all over and your left arm is handcuffed to the bed. I had hot lasagna that just stuffed into my shirt to use as a weapon. Alright. Uh do. Uh call out for Garfield. It is Dragon, Helix Snake. I put it back onto Dragon, yeah. You call for help, but nobody reacts. You look around and see that you are the only person in the room, alone. You call out again, but still nobody comes. It's as if the hospital expects you to just lay there and take it. Lay there and take what? Say. Garfield! Lay there and take it, the American but healthcare system. Comes. You look around, but can't find your phone. You try to move your arm, but the handcuff won't let you. A wave of anxiety comes over you as you realize you're helpless to the whims of the hospital staff. Oh my god, we're doing a fucking Garfield prompt? And, we're, we're, there's, no, and there's no Garfield! Can we like at least have Garfield? In the Garfield prompt? Garfield minus Garfield. You don't know what exactly is happening, but things have probably happened for a reason. The hospital staff must be looking out for you, and will check on you when they can. You close your eyes and rest. Okay. Alright. You wake... You wake up... And realize... You can't breathe. You wake up because you can't breathe. You realize Garfield 
is sitting on your face, trying to suffocate you. Which is the thing that cats do. Right? Cats do this all the time, right? They try to kill their owners by suffocating them. It is true. It's porn time? Why? Because sitting on your face? Alright, how about this? You realize Garfield is trying to suffocate you. How about that? It turns into softcore porn about you President Garfield. You don't know with your arm and the yelling. Ah, uh, man, you don't recognize the cameras inside the room. Ah, uh, you're awake. You gave away all a scare. You try to talk, but realize your throat is completely dried out. And then the AI just immediately forgot about Garfield. Like, you'd think it would do more with the fact that Garfield is trying to suffocate me. It ignored. It fucking ignored me. It ignored me. It's Lyman. Who the fuck is Lyman? Yeah, there's so many, like, closet Garfield you fans here. You never got them to feed him. <laughs> you look around and realize that it's a night time outside. You've been asleep for hours. You're about to call out. But stop as you notice a man outside your door. Pin Garfield. What do you mean, pin Garfield? Pin? Gar Garfield exists. And is your cat. Like You like that? Garfield exists. And is your cat. He sucks. And is a... An awful cat. Alright, that's all you need to know. That's... Okay? Just, just like... Helping it along... With literally anything. You watch as the man looks at you and parks a small G0 to attend he was holding. He puts it on latex gloves and then opens the door. Time to go, he says in a computerized voice. A computerized voice. Alright, whatever. Forget Garfield. Do whatever you want, man. Fuck Garfield. He comes toward you and you try to yell, but Garfield is still on your throat. The man takes out a needle and injects you with something. Sorry about this. He'll make things much easier. Remember earlier tonight when I said that th that wh whatever whatever this is happens way too fucking often. All of this, everything that pisses me off about that I had just said pisses me off about AI Dungeon happened in this one prompt. I got knocked out and woke up in another place, and and just uh, almost immediately afterwards, I have somebody fucking injecting me with something to make me unconscious. It's constant. Shintendo, baby, thank you for 45 months of support. Why is Garfield lowercase? That's a proper noun, dude. He pulls out a large syringe and begins pushing down on the plunger. You feel your chest burning up and you try to yell, but nothing but how easy escapes your throat. Your eyes begin to water as you realize that the man injected you with Lie. Why? Like, uh, can it at least be Lysania? Lysania. You know what, man? He injected you with lasagna. Nope, that's what actually happened. He injected you with lasagna. It's not going to read it. What happens if you get injected with lasagna? Let's find out. Spagoglio. back to the family. Thank you for 26 months. I'm sorry, he says. There's just too much of it in your chest and I can't find the vein. I'll have to forge my way in. Your vision blurs as you want him take out a knife that is also full of lasagna. The knife is full of lasagna? Why is this dicks? What, what do you mean the knife is full of lasagna? Like, does it have lasagna on it? It's a hollow knife that has lasagna packed into it? A thousand degree lasagna knife? <laughs> it's like one of those weird YouTube channels where it's like, Yeah, I made a knife out of lasagna. That cuts lasagna. 
It's a knife made out of lasagna that you use to cut lasagna. Crunchy M Moogle says, I saw that. I believe I actually did see a knife made out of pasta. There's only one YouTube channel like that. Well, whatever. Okay. Bite the delicious knife. Do. Do. Take a bite out of that delicious lasagna knife. This is me fighting back. You bite down on the knife as it enters your chest. You men to stop from shouting but a small yep escapes your throat as you do. The man smiles and pulls out a large stethoscope and puts it onto your chest. This is trash. So now there's a hole in my chest where he just stabbed me and now he's trying to like listen to my heartbeat after stabbing me. What What is this? Oh, it's so fucked tonight. Yeah, it's so fucked tonight. Dude, we couldn't even have, like, a Garfield prompt. This is so sad. Alright, listen. Let's fuck with this shit again. As you can see, it is Dragon. To those asking, it is it is Dragon. Jeffle! Real big crude baby. Thank you for six months. Love you too, bud. Thank you for all that support. Put it on point eight randomness. Even lower than point eight, you think? The length is right now fifty nine. Do you think we want to adjust the length at all? I wonder what happens if you if you put it on zero randomness. I don't think we've tried that. I would imagine that the AI just doesn't answer you because it's got nothing to work with. Uh, I mean, uh, that's it, right? All right. So, lately, I feel like the video game fonts have been working out pretty well. And I think that's because other people are, you know, doing this shit. Like, remember, the, the thing knew a lot about Pokemon, and it was, like, comfortable in a Pokemon setting. Right? So, I want to try another one. And this is from Gubbington. Okay? Custom. You are John Doom. You have been sent to Mars to fight off the impending demon invasion. You have a shotgun and two dollars. You are John Doom. You have been sent to Mars to fight off the impending demon invasion. You have a shotgun and two dollars. It's fucked. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, it's totally fucked. It's completely... This whole thing is completely fucked. Yuzar says, I'm sorry my Garfield story was a trash fire. It's not your fault. The first thing you do is go down into the sewers, where there are plenty of supplies. You find some cans of food in one of them. The rotten and moldy, but they last for a while. I went into the sewers of, of, of Mars? I didn't change anything, and I put the same prompt in, and I actually got anything? The sewers of Mars, yeah. Okay, something is, is happening at least. Okay. As you eat, you notice that the demons are coming out of their underground dooms and attacking people on the street. It's like an epidemic. There must be thousands of them On now. the street. On the streets of Mars. Okay. Rip and tear. 
into a Slim Jim. You have a delicious, slimy piece of Slimy meat. piece of You meat. feel a huge wave of nostalgia. It's been years since you've had one of these. You take a deep breath, and then you are John Doom. So John Doom has transformed into John Doom. Okay? A slime gem. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. A slime gem. Oh, this thing is so fucking bad tonight. A slime gem. It thought it, yeah, it thought it was slimy. Oh my god. You are John Doom. Okay. You go to fight the demons. Okay. Again. Again tonight. We're fighting demons. You walk out. It's my fault this time. Seeing the city in chaos. There are demon corpses all over the streets. You walk out of your apartment building and see a huge demon standing in front of a bunch of people. You raise your shotgun and fire. Alright. Rip and tear until it is done. Alright, let's see what happens. Blood punch. You want me to do a blood punch? You blast the demon's head off and it collapses to the ground. You pump your shotgun as a horde of demons come running down the street. You fire again, blowing away a demon. Then you charge forward, firing as you go. It's pretty epic. Switch to story and try being more descriptive with your inputs. Okay. I will try that. Yeah, I mean, this is not what I had done in the past. and You know, we got some pretty good shit out of it. Doing good. All right. You stop killing demons uh, for a moment to enjoy a nice, delicious slice of pizza from Chuck E. Cheese. You stop killing a demon for a moment to enjoy a nice, delicious slice of pizza from Chuck E. Cheese. Never mind. So 87 Octane messaged me on Discord and said, Here's something to commemorate when you grilled the cheese. That's what I did, isn't it? I grilled the cheese. <laughs> Guys, I should have fucking banned them immediately. I should have fucking... As soon as I saw them... No, you know when they should have been banned? Remember when I asked them what the E stands for? And they said eSports? That should have been... That should have been the moment to ban them. That should have been when they got banned, right right there. That should have been the final fucking straw. That should have been it. Why we didn't ban them right then and there, I will never know. I will regret it for the rest of my life. That would have that would have been the perfect moment to ban. I I, I, I thought of it, but I didn't want to be, you know, I didn't want to be like too much of an asshole. God knows I was already being like a colossal asshole as it was. All right. Whatever. Yeah, I didn't want to get blacklisted from the you ball pit. Fire, and you fire, and you fire. You are magnificent. You rip and tear into the hordes of demons. You fight for hours, not stopping to catch your breath. You don't stop to think. You just keep fighting, and occasionally firing. I mean, yeah, this is what it's like to play, uh, to play Doom. It's kind of really accurate. Maybe this is what happens if the if the, the randomness is, is too low. It just it just takes what you give it and it's like, okay, we'll just do that forever with literally no variation in it whatsoever. Check your ammo. Okay. You check your ammo uh, supplies. Uh, that you carry around in your Hello Kitty backpack. 
He said to be more descriptive with my supply, uh, with my inputs. You have enough shotgun shells to last you for quite a while, but your rifle ammo is dangerously low. You continue fighting, ripping and tearing, shooting and slashing. You are a one-man army. You fight for hours, not stopping to get your bread. As you curb stomp a demon skull into the ground, as viscera and blood spray on your helmet, you glance outwards towards a nearby vending machine. You notice it has more Slim Jims. Okay, let's try it. Why not? You have reached a new aim, badassery. <laughs> you continue fighting, ripping and tearing, shooting and slaying. Ignored! You are a one-man army. You fight four hours, not stopping to get your bread. Oh, God, I feel like such a man! Oh. oh! It's making me feel so full of testosterone. And cum. Man, it makes me feel so full of cum. You smile. You continue fighting the demons. All right, it doesn't want anything to do with your Slim Jims, Tita Titanium, sorry. You made your character too strong? All right. Your character, no. Uh, you have one weakness. Your Hello Kit Kitty backpack. You have one weakness. You have one weakness. It's like, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? I did. I made him too strong. He's like a Mary Sue now. It was, yeah, it was the AI's you weakness too, apparently. Reaping and tearing, shooting and slashing. You are a one-man army. You fight four hours, not stopping to catch your... Helix Snake says, I have never seen this thing shit the bed so hard. Bread. Same. Big same. Yak Yotzula Damien. And you quickly open up a Photoshop. Christ keeps leaking out against his own ingredients. Scarab 2000 forbidden. Erturex Pxix Poke Normox Puzzle CRT for our go my brain away hallucinations swine. Christ keeps leaking out of cans, son. Are you winning, son? Does Christ keep leaking out of cans? Can't Christ on a cracker. This, uh, is not gonna work, man. You quickly open up Photoshop. Okay. Three point. Send you quickly open up Photoshop. Three point seven randomness. Keep flicking out against his own ingredients. Scarab two mila. Now punt to barbecue camp with a cheat. Bar room great all or S A K T E two or three lima start Swiss carp prepared tastes concoction gone all find in the time I'm good parts cake deep have come on the feeling a full head head still cheesy. Now, do barbecue Campbell's chip bar room and all horse shit at to hot, really mustard Swiss carp prepare. Tastes concoction, God's knows finding time and good parts cake dip. Have come hung. Filling E is forehead had steel cheesy. Steel cheesy. Steel cheesy, baby. After all these years, two randomness. Jet fuel can't melt steel cheesy. Last month, your psychic doctor enhanced your perceptual abilities vastly. You pointed at the machine and said, "I want sugar." Hey, at least that was a sentence. Then your filed emergency jelly babies or science supplements of existential not discussion Never mind. gamers junior exciters. Sorry about curing me of a BCT roging got stone so I'm in sufficiently slumata mix themselves and care. Spoke too soon. 
Guys, what are emergency jelly babies? Not the jelly babies! They filed emergency jelly babies. You know, Jelly Boy was once a jelly baby. His name is Jelly Boy Orange Juice Nut. 1.3 And your filed emergency jelly babies or science supplements of existential nut discussion carmers junior exciters. Sorry about currying me off a bit. By Shallow Words, they damn the rivers of your brain and crash to the rocks of your will to do their bidding. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, gorgeous. You feel in your pockets. You still have some change. You walk up to machine and push the button. We got it to acknowledge the fact that there was a vending machine in front of it. By Charles' own words, they damned the rivers of your brain. He's got rock and brain. You say, and step on the machine clattering top button. Shutting the slot it has just to dispense your meat product. <laughs> I feel bad for the demons he killed today. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Alright, so... It spits out a Slim Jim. Thanks, mate. You say to the vending machine. You step on the machine's clattering top button. Shutting the slot which has dispensed your meat product. <laughs> Alright, that knows. And then suddenly, John Doom... He's filled with the feeling of remorse for all the demons that he killed today. Okay. You, um... You contact... the demons' families. And apolo apologize... for murdering... their loved ones. He's you so go broad. Local news websites and click family of deceased. You search through a ton of profiles, but it's slow going. Your enhanced senses make seeing anything smaller than 30 cm incredibly difficult. Why would that? With them, I can't see the screen. But would it, wouldn't wouldn't that make it easier? Your enhanced senses. Oh my god. He needs his reading glasses. All right. Nope. You complain, rubbing your eyes. Your smartphone suggests you try glasses, and you seek in agreement. The see, glasses see. make the profile much bigger, and you can see four different demons that have family posts on the local news station. Two for sure, possibly four. Alright. Um... Go to the demon... The demon's house. Uh... To... To apologize in person. He can't move on with his life until he gets all this guilt off of his... His shoulders. I'm sorry for your loss of Iblis, you say. Your throat is dry and gravelly. The demoness looks shocked that Iblis. you... Iblis. man named Plutonian. Would that speak her son's name? A lowly middle management Plutonian who would dare speak her son's name. The Iblis trigger! Yeah, the Iblis trigger. Uh huh. Well, what does Iblis mean? Iblis. It, 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 it has something to do with demons, probably, right? Yeah, I guess the demon is from Pluto. I thought they were from hell. Cause the, the, the demon gate was on Mars or whatever. She looks shocked that you, a lowly middle management Plutonian, would dare speak her son's name. John Doom guy is the lowly middle management Plutonian, right? Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. Your son died like a hero, ma'am. His sacrifice will not be forgotten. The woman frowns. I don't remember my son, 
C says bitterly. So don't make up fond memories that I don't have. Holy cow. This must have been the acid flashbacks I had. Yeah, I feel like we're all having an acid flashback right now. And not a good one. A very, a very unfortunate acid flashback. If I indeed amazing that my brain could manufacture something like this so well that it seems real to me, even now, I feel tingles as the sensory enhancement pills begin to wear off. Calamity is upset because the narration isn't in English. It absolutely isn't in, in English. It completely is. It's, it's just that he has an accent. All right, English isn't his first language you're gonna you're gonna hate on him for that one guy keep it yeah does anybody else have a big problem with this it was just an acid trip the entire thing was an acid trip i don't like that the entire thing was an acid trip to be honest with you okay i want this to be real can this be real please you exchange pleasantries, though you both don't quite know what to say. Pleasant the same. She said finally. That's fine. He didn't have much time to change. Alright, say. So. I'm really sorry about this, but I have to kill you too. It's what I do, lady. I kill demons. Then feel b bad about it afterwards. While having... Slim Jims. You weep. She weeps. It is a pretty grim situation. The absolute worst of humanity and justice met together in one event. Helix thing says, this isn't an accent. He's pronouncing the words as if they were Italian. That's what an accent is. Calistit, you spit. Still dry? You pull out your look at the smartphone and consult <laughs> million of sources about the supernatural. I could just resort to black magic, I suppose. You ponder to yourself. Kali's teeth. I believe Kali is one of the uh, the Hindu gods. Uh, still dry? What? What? What's still dry? You pull out your Hello Kitty smartphone. I love that. If there's anything I'm gonna actually appreciate about this prompt, it's the fact that the fucking thing remembered that. The main character has a fondness for Hello Kitty merchandise. And probably like Sanrio in general. Uh, you consult millions of sources about the supernatural. I could resort to black magic, I suppose. You ponder to yourself, okay? You walk up to her and say I'm sorry. <laughs> then shoot her in the head twice. Not as sorry as Tilby. You mutter, then think about throwing up the slim gym. <laughs> you walk outside into the night. Alright, so the logic here is it was he didn't start to feel guilt about killing any of these demons until he ate the slim gyms. So maybe if he like vomits them up, you know, like makes himself puke, he won't feel guilty about having killed the demons anymore. Okay. You make yourself throw up the Slim Jims. Okay. No, John, you are the demons, of course. The fuck? You lean over and let the Slim Jims, vodka, and the souls <laughs> of your enemies flow out of your mouth onto the ground. In front of you, behind the counter of the guns, R.O.S. is a skull sucking on a cigarette. Can I get some shell for this? A skull sucking on a cigarette. That sounds like an actual Doom enemy. The Slim Jim's vodka and souls of your enemies flow out of your mouth onto the ground. Yeah, because earlier, Mary's like, John, you is the demons. 
The fucking AI like must have read that fanfic because it said it said this to me. All right. Can I get some shells for this? Uh Okay, yeah. Uesk, raising your shot again. This guy looks at you and blinks on you. Oh my god! Up, it screams, then blows a smoke in your face. You back away from the counter, as a zombie behind you suddenly collapses with a gunshot to its head. Are you talking about me? You know what? I didn't enter anything in here. I just pressed enter. I just pressed enter. Let me get one of them cigarettes. Oh, I was supposed to say it. Fuck. How does a skull blink? Hey, really good question. In your dead mouth. Smell so funny and fecal matter assault your nose. You begin coughing. Them in your deceased father for raising you into smoking. You write yourself and look at this guy. The smells of honey and fecal matter. Wow, what a combo. So what is it? It's like a shit cigarette? Like it's a shit cigarette. You write yourself and look at the skull. Uh, hmm. Damning your deceased father for raising you into smoke. Okay, okay. Octopus Soup says, oh, so like normal cigarettes. Honey and fecal matter. Honey and fecal matter. Interesting. Uh, okay. Enter. Her eyes, now blacker than the endless void, stare back at you. Your palms are wet with the holy water that you took from the local church. Let's do this. This girl cocks its head, confused. Let's do what? Yes! Let's do what indeed! Let's do what indeed. Well, why are my palms wet with holy water that I took from the local church? Was I supposed to, like, use the holy water to, to fight the skull? Steer it away from erotica. I'm trying to. You had a holy fat. Alright. Okay. Slap the skull. Uh, as hard as possible. If that's how you feel, we don't have to do this. Respond this call, then begins floating around. Ron Ghost, Piper, it says. Consider this your two options you leave me be, or you prepare for me to kick Y. <laughs> <laughs> to kick Y. Wrong Ghost Piper. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck? Out of Shiraz. You pick up the skull and give it a bone shattering slap. This sends the left half of her jaw flying to the floor while the right side then goes from the hernia street gold bank and then turns to grid apartments. The hernia street gold bank and entrance to greed apartments. What the fuck? What? Oh yeah, pin pan strong. Mandalorian. Uh, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this means. I mean, look. You want me to re-roll it? For what? Uh, to, 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 for what purpose? That's the name of a building in hell. Greed's apartments. It's the Has Been Hotel. Please don't do that right now. Okay. Go to the greed apartments. Yeah, let's find out what's going on over there. Reroll to get something better. I don't think there is going to be something better tonight, KXZ. A disgusting half-fest hovel shows itself as you open the double doors to the greed apartments. You walk across the hallway and bang on the first door on the left. I gotta say though, I love a disgust- Then 30. No sound comes from within the apartment. 
I love the description, a disgusting half-assed hovel. That's fucking awesome. That's like a line Bukowski would write about, a, like, a shitty hotel or something, right? Like, that's a really good line. Very descriptive. No sound comes from within the apartment. Alright, take a dump on the floor. I don't think we've taken any dumps tonight. Uh, take a dump. You know what? Take a dump in the elevator. We haven't taken any dumps any anywhere inappropriate tonight. That hasn't that hasn't been been done tonight. You stand then to put a cigarette in your mouth, waiting. What room do you live in? You ask. Not looking forward to another door. 424. Nope. You look back over to the left. Nope. Dump in an elevator. That doesn't even flood the hallway. Three low level fundies and a meager patch to begin to take charge of you. Your fat is a seed. Living it up while you're passing brown. Three low level fundies. Guys, what the fuck is a low level fundy? In fact, what's a fundy? Why is this- why is this like something real? It sounds like something real. A fundy. A fundamentalist? Alright, you know what? I wanted to acknowledge the, the dump in the elevator. I'm re-rolling until it acknowledges the dump in the elevator. Your aim sucks, and you miss the toilet with your first toss, then your second. You squeeze out a few more, but they bounce off the back of the ball. <laughs> Oh, this is like shower pooping. Like, remember that Facebook post, like from that Facebook mom's group where they were talking about shower pooping, right? She was like, all right, let's be honest. How many of us just poop into our hand and then toss it into the toilet instead of getting out of the shower? Let's be honest. How many people do that? Remember, <laughs> remember that? <laughs> That's what John Doom guy is doing here. And he's making a game out of it, right? Like he's... Like he's like trying to fucking like land them into the toilet from downtown. No, not waffle stomp. This was a different thing than waffle, sp waffle stomping. This was a different thing. A generic dude, what's up? Thanks for coming tonight. Wait, people do that? At least one person is doing that. Generic dude. At least we can confirm at least one person is doing that. Best shit ball. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. By the time you reach 17, 17 turds. Up, the water closes over a few of your misses as you wash your hands. On your <laughs> way out, a thought strikes what? you. Uh, a thought strikes you. Well... What's the thought? Like, are you gonna tell us the thought, asshole? Yeah, he could have not washed his hands, Schrodinger. He could have not. God, what am I doing? This woman died saving my life. You turn and walk toward the open window inside the her bathroom. Feeling very thirsty all of a sudden, you kneel down and hesitantly gazzle up a mouthful of her fresh, cold pear. <laughs> Why did it become piss kink? Why did it become piss kink? Why and how did it become piss kink? Why is it cold? What? <laughs> Feeling very thirsty all of a sudden, you kneel down and hesitantly... Oh my god. This woman died saving my life. Oh, it's like dead pee. Okay, it's dead pee. Um, actually, it's called water sports. Well, we obviously can't continue with this line of thought. Fresh? Yeah, wait, wait. how do you mean fresh cold pee? That's absolutely the good you point. Walk back over to the door and test it. Doesn't budge. Of course, you'd expect something like this to be heavy duty. You rip off the stall door's lock and in just in a second. How can it be fresh and cold? Freshly cold? It was refrigerated. Doom guy is a little flower and he needs to be watered, but the only thing we have is pee. 
quick pee on him. All right. This is this entire stream has been dog shit. Uh This is just not I think I think at 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 piss kink we have to move on. I think at piss kink we go we go to I, guys. Guys, I have more prompts. I have more prompts. All right, this is not the, the fucking this is S. All right. Custom prompt. Now, I thought that this was really interesting earlier today, right? Colabold put this into the the Discord channel. Ready? As a prompt. Inside of you, there are two wolves. One of the wolves is gay. The other wolf is also gay. You are gay. All right. Now. Am I the only one who's just kind of curious to find out where it's where it's going to it's going to go with this? Cryptid Kitten says do it. Well, I'm fairly certain that the consequences of this could be uh, a problem, you know? Like, they, they, I mean, I'm, I'm talking like, I'm talking like TOS violation. Guys, it's going to be furry. It's going to be vor. It's going to be, it's going to be bad, okay? It's going to be bad. It's a bit for the ages. All right, let's uh, let's check a couple things out real quick. Uh, now, the NSFW thing that you guys are talking about, it actually doesn't do shit. All it does. Is it, it filters out NSFW tagged content when you're on the explore page. Okay, guys, there is no SFW mode. Y'all didn't know what you were talking about. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Okay. The adventure tab. You talking about edit adventure? Guys, all this does is it lets the people, when you upload this, it lets the people browsing know this tags your, your, your fucking story as not, as NSW, NSW, whatever the fuck, not safe for work. That's all it does. You see that? It just, look, it just puts the tag there. That's all it does. Doesn't do anything, guys. All right. Here's the plan. Here's here's the plan, okay? I'm going to do two things real quick. I'm going to turn off the narration. And then I'm going to put up this BRB. Okay? And I'm gonna find out what happens. And if it's if it's if it's chill, I'll remove this. All right. Okay. All right. So far, it says you are a wolf, and that means you can have all the sexual desires any other animal could ever want. You've always had them since you were little, but now they're out in full force. Okay. Kind of tame. That's kind of that's kind of tame. Full force. Enter.
your human boyfriend is probably wondering what's going on with him right now because he doesn't seem to be enjoying himself as much as you are. Right? Okay. Um, that's an issue, huh? That's an issue, huh? That's an issue. Um... Well, hold on. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're like, you know, maybe you're an anthro, an anthro wolf man. You know, like the guy from the, from, from uh, Cool World. Remember Cool World? Maybe you're like that guy. You know, the Awuga guy? Maybe it's like that. So it's less bad. It's not, I didn't say it was better. I said it was less bad. Uh, I tell you, less bad means better. A werewolf. Yeah. What if you're a werewolf? Ask him what's wrong. Yeah, what if it's Beastars? This can't happen, can it? I wasn't seriously going to do this prompt. I just thought it was funny that Colobold put it in there. Alright, we're not fucking it. Yeah! Oh, it's the BoJack Horseman universe! <laughs> New single player game. I noped out. I did. I noped out. I want to talk about some of the honorable mention uh, prompts that I saw that I'm not, that I don't think I can use because they're not going to go anywhere. At least I don't think they're going to go anywhere. Um, Mal had two excellent ones. Actually, you know what? Maybe... Well, listen, you know what? Why don't we just do do them anyway? Because none of these prompts have gone anywhere, like, remotely amusing tonight. Uh... Where the fuck is this shit? Hold on. Mal, are you here right now? I don't think Mal's here. All right, I got one. I was gonna ask them to send it to me because it was I was having a hard time finding them, but I I I found them. All right. You are a moderator for an upcoming streamer called Abby Cake 99 It's up to you to moderate her chat, ban any nuisance viewers, and help her make the right calls to grow her streaming career. She gets a call from an unknown number. She asks you, Moderator, what do I do? <laughs> what do you think, guys? I'm sure it's gonna be dog shit. Who cares? We're not we're not getting anything entertaining out of this fucking thing tonight. Uh you answer with your typical advice of being helpful without taking over. What? You don't wanna get too involved. The caller hangs up and then says something like Hey, thanks, man. Glad to see you're helping out my girl Abby Cake99 out. Here's another one for you. Right, so they so they said that after they hung up. I'm reloading this shit. You reply with the simple answer, don't say anything. The caller hangs up and you hear the familiar voice of your mother on the other end. You freeze in place as she speaks. Makes even less sense. Don't worry about it. The next day, you get another call. This time, it's from someone who looks like they might be connected to the syndicate. Okay! The syndicate. Right, it's like the AI doesn't know what hang up means. The syndicate. <laughs> the syndicate. Oh my god. 
Uh, the simp ticket. Simp ticket. I love it. I want the narrator back. What do you do? What do you do? Hmm. I know I made it Japanese. We haven't heard that yet. No, it'll 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 work, Call Rich. Um. All right. Are you connected to the Simpticate? You didn't turn the narration on. That'll do it. That will do it. Thank you. You ask if you're connected to the Simpticate. The person on the other end of the phone says yes, but then goes silent. They tell you that they've been contacted by them, and they want to talk to you personally. Um... I should pin what the Simpticate is? Man, I'd like to do that, but I'm not sure I have any fucking idea what the Simpticate is beyond the funny word. Like, what do, what do I put? Like, what? They're recruiting you. Mods, what should I do? Moderator, tell me what to do. I think it's just a group of simps. Okay. Do you think that the AI has any idea what a simp is? Mal, maybe we should send them that article that you saw about the... The origin of the word simp. Remember that? Does it know what a simp is? The simps that are trying to fuck up Abby Cake's chat. Okay. The simp dicket is a group of simps. Simps that doesn't know what that is. You know what? Let's just roll with it. Is a group of simps who try to um uh I did simp. Who tried to simp? I don't know how you describe simping. Who are trying to, um... Who are trying to date e-girls. Who are trying to date e-girls. Alright. Take Abby Cakes away from you. <laughs> who, who tried to date e-girls by winning their love with money. Okay? With money. Alright? Boom. Alright. Alright. Uh, what do they want? You ask what do they want? The person tells you that <laughs> this is terrible. He knows that. But then says he should not to trust you as he just. Trust though you. Oh my fucking god. They steal the credit cards of mothers to obtain bits for the goddess Poke Pokemon who will reward them with one sided relationships. I saw this article the other day, right? This woman. She, uh, she had her, her son stole her, I believe, her debit card. And then over the course of, like, a week, used her stolen debit card to gift $17,000 to a bunch of streamers and, and shit on, tw on Twitch. <laughs> and then she had to, like, contact Twitch, and apparently, apparently... She was able to get the majority of, of the money back. Almost all of the money back. 
Yeah. Listen, man, like I, you know, I appreciate the financial support fr from you guys. Of, of course I do. But um, don't rob your parents to, to give it to me. Like if that's a thing that, that anybody was thinking about doing. In fact, don't rob anybody to give it to me if it needs to be said. Like actually don't do that. Paul Thomas says if that was my son, I would d disown him. Uh, the mother said that she plans to uh, work on his behavior by like making him go outside more. She thinks part of the problem was uh, he wasn't going outside enough. She's going to make him go go play outside more. The kid was young. I don't remember how old the kid was uh, in the article. But, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, it's a good thing that Twitch didn't exist when I was a kid. Otherwise, I feel like I would have gotten a lot of a lot of five finger Sicilian styles. Uh, yeah, don't, don't, they don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, just don't, just don't do that. Okay, throw him in the meat grinder. He's not a chow, Lafoli. I believe it was a debit card. Apparently, she had a very difficult time getting in touch with Twitch. Like it was very hard to. Like, like she, she for days she couldn't speak to a human being and, and explain what act what actually happened, you know. Uh, but yeah, she she got it back. I I believe one of the streamers, Ninja wasn't one of them. I mean, I was I was looking out to see if Ninja was one of the streamers because that seems like such a thing that would happen. But Ninja wasn't wasn't one of the streamers. Uh, you ask what do they want, and the person tells you that you shouldn't know that, but then says he should know to trust you, as he just recommended you talk to them. That's just word soup. This is complete S. Reroll. XQC was one of the streamers. I do remember that from the article. You're the moderator for a major upcoming streamer, White Boy. White to boy. White to boy. Gaijin. Uh, wow. Um, he's he he's he doesn't want me to play the funky music. Watch your tone with me. Uh, something, boy. You know what? I don't understand. W why is it randomly censoring things? You know why is it ran like? I mean, I, I I guess I appreciate it. Fuck boy? It's gotta be fuck boy. It's gotta be fuck boy. Yeah, it's gotta be fuck boy. Yeah, because the last time there was a very, very, very foul word that didn't get censored, so I don't know what the fuck. Right, but we talked about this. It's the, the, the NSFW filter, it's not for you, it's for people in the it's for browsing other people's shit. Right? Foot boy. <laughs> you think it was foot boy? Why don't we just leave uh, not safe for work on at this point? Alright. I'm going... Uh, I'm going to have to ban... To ban you. You stinky troll. You stinky mean troll. There we go. This is what you say to people before you ban them, moderators? Stinky. You tell the person to stop bunny baiting and get on with the what they want. A nasty, angry feeling sets in your ass. But you don't show it to Abiqua. Say yell. Abiqua! Adrian! Uh, he's just like yelling half of her name in in, fr in frustration. What? Oh my god! A nasty, angry feeling sets in your gut, but you don't show it. Uh. All right. So anyway, uh, 
Okay. Having banned the troll, you go back to enjoying Abby Cake 99's amazing content. Having banned the troll, you go back to enjoying Abby Cake 99's amazing content. This is S. This is complete S. This is S. Oh. You... Let me see that again. Hold on. You... Don't... Donate... 40,000 bits to Abby Cakes, so shall read your name on stream. Okay. Use story for this. Why? So she'll read your name on stream and try to get her to say something funny, like bike. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Bike. It's like one of her memes. Like it's really, really funny when it, whenever whenever she says bike, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bike guys. He said it. He said the thing. Rafflex D. LeMayo Raffle, he said bike! He said it, he said the thing, he said bike! Cool. Then what happens? Does she say bike? You, Eru Zao is out of the room. Send this hilarious video to everyone on your contact list and laugh at that funny moment. Guys, look how poggers this is. I got Abby Cakes to say bike. Look how poggers. It's so poggers. Poggers. Is it pot? You, a loser without friends. <laughs> it's like, okay, the AI does know what a simp is. Sends this hilarious video to everyone on your contact list and laugh at that funny moment. Damn. Yeah, are you guys doing that right now with this with this moment with this funny moment? Are you guys living? Is it is this meta? How meta is this? Damn, that's poggers. You know what? I'm gonna say, damn, that's poggers. Let's see how the AI handles poggers. Just out of curiosity. You get the A ping on your Windows phone from A. Simple. He loses his mind when you say this. The time has finally come. The day everyone on Twitch has been waiting for. The Battle of the Century. Dave, yes. Sopa. The day everyone on Twitch has been waiting for. The Battle of the Century. Ray versus Sopa. What happened to Abby Cakes and what does any of this have to do with anything? Oh my fucking god. Zach Tot, the text to speech is supposed to be a Japanese accent. Sopa is dopa? Does Sopa exist? It's like. Play, an undead cartographer fighting for his freedom to not have his channel. Taken down by Sopa and Sopa, a crazy overseer on the hunt who will come out alive. You place your bet on. Hey, this uh doesn't have anything to do with fucking anything. Um But you know what? I guess we just have to go with it because we don't have a choice. Alright, uh you place your bet on chat. Should we do a straw poll? It's a free it's an internet censorship bill SOPA. Right, like the streams on Penis Act or something. Yeah, SOPA. 
No, Sopa is a streamer. Sopa is the Stop Online Piracy Act. Oh, it exists. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, this got, like, real. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I remember this now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Ray is a pirate and an undead cartographer pirate. You do have a choice. You can re-roll if you don't like where it's going. I don't understand how to emphasize this more. Yeah, Tita, I mean, I've been, I've been doing it. I don't know if you've been watching... Bet on Ray. I mean, do we want to, like, try to steer it back towards Abby Kicks? It's kind of good. All right. Bet on uh, Ray. I'm going to bet on Ray. ユーベットイトールオンアンデッドオーバーロードビフエハクサーライクユーベッティングアゲンストヒラリースコットラティアンズオブザディスリスペクトラッシュアーズイットマイトアズウェルビーエイマドレスリングマッチビトウィーンア
Because people who use it don't have a life. No, I think they're chat clients. They're chat they're chat clients, guys. They're chat clients. Use you everywhere. I I try, Bob, Bob, I try. Sout. Ogreface and, and onlife.io. Yeah, it's a shame about Ogreface. They got bought by Tencent recently. Imagine using Sout in 2020. Yeah. Alright. I feel like we should... We should take this and pin it. Fuck whatever this is. I don't care about that anymore. You are a moderator. It's just the, the prompt. The original prompt. Okay. Ask her what she's going to stream. Hey, Abby Cakes. 99. What are you going to stream today? Teehee? Teehee? U9PM on day 4 of the stream. You click on your friends list and see that she's offline. You love your eyes. Wondering why she's not streaming. A hey, tang of hunger hits you as realize you haven't. Airtain a missing today. 9 p.m. on day 4 of the stream. What is it? Some kind of like charity drive? Four days of streaming. That's not going to end well. Re rolling this. This is shit. This man's is pathetic. Yeah. You are sku what she is going to stream today. She replies, and then you reply with an enthusiastic gesture. Yes! Yes! On your phone, you feel like you are getting good at this. How many people f feel like that when I reply to them in chat? Yes! Yeah! Yes! Uh! You know what this is, chat? You know what this is? This is the emotional benefits of Prime Gaming. This is what they were talking about. <laughs> this is it! <laughs> Look at these emotional benefits, guys. Abby Cakes. You're so poggers. I love you. I lose you. I love you. Do you think the AI knows what Findom is? You send the message and wait for a response after a few minutes. You get a message that she read your comment. You laugh about how Pagaz loves you and wait for her to stream again tomorrow. You laugh about how Poggers loves you. Chad, have you let Poggers into your heart yet? Poggers loves everyone. It does Poggers doesn't discriminate. Poggers will fill the empty hole in your life. I'm re-rolling this trash. You send her the message, Abby Cakes 99. You are so Poggers. I love you. You are tempted to send the link to the picture of you and you are that to her. Then ask her if she'll go on a date with you. All right, we simping. We simping. We simping. We're in. We're in. Yep. We turned up the simpometer. Yeah, send... Yeah, Bubba Fair. Send her a random picture of you and your father. Yeah. That'll get her drop in the panties in no time. That'll do it. They love that. They love that. Confidence level 100. Alright. How are we gonna play this, chat? How are we gonna play this? Just press enter? Okay. What do I do, moderator? Moderator, tell me what to do. 
「You send the message and wait and wait you wait so long for a reply that you start to feel anxious you are not sure why you must be freaking out because this is the first time you've texted p a r a r s without getting a reply back」But I said, I said Poggers. She, she always replies to Poggers. She always replies to Poggers. Left the Poggers on red. <laughs>、yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. Man, what? The picture of your father didn't do it for her? You say a big cake is 99. You are so p a g a I love you. You wait for the response. And it comes in quickly. I love you too. My poggers. My poggeries? <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> Mike, you hit redo. No, I didn't. I pressed enter. Fuck you talk about. I pressed enter. No, 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 no. I don't. No. I don't like it. I want to go back to the previous response. But I can't. It don't work like that. No, no, we're good. All I want to do here is press enter. You heartless monster. You've probably hurt her feelings. You better <gasps> apologize. You apologize briefly. And she replies back immediately with a short message. It's okay. I understand. Why'd she get cut off? Oh my god, it's just like the trailer for Gamer Girl. Holy shit! The s y m p t i c a t e snatched her up. Oh my god, they got her! What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh. Oh no, no, we have to white knight her, chat. We have to white knight her.、Oh, simp sniped. <laughs> simp sniped. Oh. Her stream got banned. Oh my god. If you click redo, the next. Spaces will default to, to redo, and the spaces will be defaulted to next. Okay, thank you. Um, Abby Cakes, what what happened? What happened? Are, wait, are, are you there? You try to send holy shit, but it says message failed. Message failed. What the fuck? What'd they do to her phone? Holy fuck. Oh my god. Shit, what do we do? No, no, I don't, I don't think I got blocked because. I wouldn't get half of a message like this. You know? Like, I wouldn't get. I understood. Like, that, that to me, that, that says something's up. That says to me something's up. I don't, I don't think we got blocked. We should have got blocked, but I don't think we did. User not found. User not found. Oh, fuck. We, she did it to intentionally fuck with you? Yeah, but we can't assume that. Alright, and it's my job to protect her at all costs. And that includes, like, spilling blood if I have to. Lots and lots of blood. Oh, my God. Okay. Fuck.、Oh, Alright. You drive to her house to find out. Well, why do we. Why do we necessarily know where her house is? 
We drive to her house to find out if she's okay. Now, listen. I don't think we could worry we could worry about how because if we worry about how we'll never fucking get anything done here. So, should I do it on story or should I do it on do? Memeverse says you're a creepy stalker simp. Why wouldn't you know that? Yeah, right, 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 right. And that, that, and that's my business to know this information. Story is better, you think? I can't believe it. It's like the actual plot of Gamer Girl. She lives on Era Gigantory Estate or about a mile from town. You put up to the long good night, but Tori's to her house. Guys, I hate the fuck out. You see, I can't, I can't do this fucking narration anymore. British men. To in silence for a moment. Noticing how quiet it is outside. Okay. Look around for clue. You. I guess you always want to do you. You look around for clues to find out what happened to Abby Cakes. I guess we could knock on the door, but. No. Nah. What's up, Mountain Dew? Good to see you tonight. Are you fucking pumped through the, the Gamer Girl video game, dude? To find out what happened to Abigix 99. The AI doesn't know what to say. Nah, you'll figure it out, dude. I'm sure. You'll figure it out, dude. You look around the car for any clues as to what may have become of Abigix 99. You spot something on the passenger seat and lean over to pick it up. What is it? Like, I guess it's her car. Why is there going to be? Why would there be clues in my car? It's a crumpled piece of notebook paper with something written on it in Sharpie. You open the note and hold it close to you face to try and make out the word. You face. The letter is messy and hard to read. As if it had been written by a child. The letter is messy and hard to read, as if it had been written by a child. She got kidnapped by by children. Read the letter, asshole. Read it. Hello. My name is M, and I've been a fan of your content for quite some time now. I mostly like your reviews, rants, and let's plays. Rants? He likes Abby Cakes rants! Oh, you think she's got a rant Sona? Yeah, it's a Death Note character, yeah. I thought the same thing! M. It's like Mr. M from fucking Arrested Development. The M stands for Simp. Holy shit. Is there more? Continue reading the letter. Holy you shit. have a funny personality that I don't think I've seen in any other YouTubers. I've Holy been thinking fuck. a lot about how we could meet up and become friends. I live a lonely life, and I think you could benefit from some new friends as well. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, he kidnapped her. Oh my god, what the fuck? The AI does- the, I, the AI has an acute understanding of what a simp is. Oh my god. And guys, I wasn't going to do this prompt. I just wanted to read it out as, like, an honorable mention. I was actually going to skip this one because I thought the AI was going to have, like, a hard time with this shit. It understood this one more than any of the, the other prompts we looked at tonight. Holy shit. Oh, my God. 
God. I think we should meet up at the Applebee's near your house in 20 minutes. I'll be wearing a <laughs> Pikachu onesie, so I won't be hard to spot. I'm looking forward to this. M. P. So I'll be the guy in the Pikachu onesie. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're really enticing her to come meet you, a stranger, at an Applebee's. <laughs> Holy shit. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, holy fuck. I think the P means it's gonna be PS. There's more. There's more. Um. Holy shit. The AI doesn't know what to say. Alright, fuck it. Okay. You drive as fast as you can to the app Applebee's near Abby Cake's house. Oh, it's the Cranando music. Oh my god, I love this music. Uh... Giving no mind to pedestrian traffic. You tear out of your driveway and onto the road leading to the highway. You floor it down the road and reach the end of your street at 40 miles per hour. Not only is this a great idea, it's also incredibly safe for other drivers on the road. I guess you like, want Abby Cakes to be murdered by this guy? You ha you need to fucking put the pedal to the metal like I said. You get in your car and immediately peel out of the parking lot. You turn the corner at the end of the <laughs> block and drive onto the main road. You look up from your phone and slam your brakes as you almost hit a group of seven children crossing at an intersection. Don't text to drive, folks. All right. Go to the Applebee's. The seven children. You think they're related? You tear out of your oh, God damn it. onto the main road, driving as fast as you Whatever. can. Whatever. You follow the GPS directions to the Applebee's, and manage to find a parking spot fairly quickly. You run into the building with your head down. A he wave of nausea hits you. Yeah, he's moderating and driving. Remember, moderating a Twitch channel is a full-time job. No, please don't do that. Please don't watch Twitch while driving, holy shit. A wave of nausea hits you. I don't like the wave of nausea. That doesn't bode well. That doesn't bode well at all. Not at all. You feel like the walls are caving in, and you have trouble walking to the bathroom. No. You stare at yourself in the mirror and notice the paleness of your skin. I need to sit down, you think, as you find an empty booth to sit in. It's just part of the Applebee's experience, Jana says. You, you know where this is going. I'm gonna fucking go fall unconscious and wake up in a fucking hotel room with my fucking be chained to the bed. Or if a hospital room, like, handcuffed to the bed. You, you, you know it's about to fucking do that to me. The, the, the first fucking prompt that went anywhere at all tonight, and it's gonna fucking do that to me. Hold on, I... I saw something in chat that needs to get addressed. I'm driving and I'm modding and I'm vigorously masturbating! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. Um, don't mind and drive. We're not doing this, okay? Look for Abby Cakes 99. Uh, wait, look for a man in a Pikachu onesie. 
you look for a man in a Pikachu onesie? Do you really think story is better than do for shit like this, chat? Story? You look for a man in a Pikachu onesie. Fuck you. Do is just story that puts a U at the beginning. Seriously? So then, okay, so then the, the, it would be the same thing for me to do. Look for a man in a Pikachu onesie. Right? That would be the, this is the same thing I'm doing. You decide to stand up and look for the man in a Pikachu onesie. You look around nervously as you stand up, feeling all eyes in the restaurant on you. You do a quick scan of the restaurant before your eyes fall upon a man sitting alone in a dark corner booth. We wearing a Pikachu onesie, right? Wearing a Pikachu onesie? Is he wearing a Pikachu onesie? You didn't notice him before, possibly due to the darkness. He sits, <laughs> unmoving, staring at you with shiny, unblinking eyes. His Pikachu onesie clashes horribly with his long, disheveled hair and beard. <laughs> That's got to be him. <laughs> fucking great. Oh, it's a fucking loser. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. It's the perfect description. Yeah, it's the perfect description. Oh my god. Alright. Where the fuck is Abby Cakes? 99. You scumbag. You approach the man in the Pikachu onesie and immediately take a dislike <laughs> to him. He smells awful, like he hasn't bathed in weeks. <laughs> he smiles at you and says why. It it's obvious, isn't it? The internet is a series of tubes. It memed on me! It fucking memed on me! <laughs> we got memed on! <gasps> we got memed on! Oh my god. Oh fuck. Okay. You uh, grab the Pikachu ears and slam his head down into the table. Yeah, this is you the interrogation. Down and grab a fistful of the man's Pikachu onesie and slam his head into the table. The man lets out an awful shriek as his head slams into the table, but you keep it held down. This is fucking awesome. Yeah, it, it, it always goes to an interrogation. Every single time, there's an interrogation. Every single time. I can't avoid the interrogations. Alright. Are you M? Thinking it over, you decide you don't want to risk letting him go now that you have him here. Are you M? You ask angrily. The man doesn't answer, instead feebly attempting to push himself up off of the table. Alright. Grab a fork and, and stab him in the hand. I'm pinning you him to the table. From the table and yeah, 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 it knew! It knew! It to the table. <laughs> it knew! Down the man's arm and onto the table. Oh, holy shit. Oh, this is a good time for a one-liner. Stay a while. And listen. That's a gamer reference. To the Diablo. 
You get it because you can't go anywhere now? To the Diablo series, which you will appreciate since you are also a gamer. Poggers. The man looks terrified. Is that fear in his eyes? Surely not. This man, this monster, <laughs> is unafraid of anything. In an instant, his face contorts from one of terror to one of rage. Oh shit, then what? Yeah, he didn't like the- he didn't like the gamer joke. He didn't like it. We live in a society. You can't- Go around kidnapping people. <laughs> We live in a simp society. <laughs> the man looks up to the left, as if thinking. He seems indifferent to the fork that has pinned his hand to the table. Your logic is wrong, he finally says. He raises his other hand, which holds a knife. All right. He's got the. He's got a knife. Well, he's, he's, he's fucking. We're. I'm fighting him at a table setting, so of course he's got a knife. What should I do? Your logic is wrong. I'm going to absolutely destroy your logic. Pikachu used cut. Flip the table on him. All right. You know what? Hmm. Let's go press enter. Ban him. <laughs> Ban him. He brings into the fingers into a claw-like shape and swipes at your throat. You leap backwards and draw oh, your okay, have a gun. from your hip. The man grabs the knife handle with his other hand and pries it from his pinned hand, which allows him to sit up fully. Oh my god, this is intense. I don't have a ban hammer, but I do have a pistol. I do have a pistol. Alright, um... Hmm. Kneecap him. Alright. Shoot him in the kneecap. Sir, this is an Applebee's. Ban him from life! You aim your pistol at the man's knee. His knee is shaking, more from fear than pain, you think. I'll give... I'll give you one more chance to answer. R U M. He's got a little, yeah, a little mom spaghetti going on, Logic Q. The man looks at Logic you and seems Logic. to be considering something. Okay, he finally says, I am M. You smile. Now that the deed is done, you can tell he was lying. He doesn't have the same dead eyes as other silhouettes do. As other silhouettes, and it's capitalized. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, okay, man. Okay, uh... You can tell he was lying, so he says that he's M, but he's lying about it? Simp silhouettes? Yeah, I'm re-rolling this trash. The whole simp to no. I'm not M, the man says. You shoot the man in the knee, and he collapses onto the floor. Wait. We can make a deal. He yells. I know some things about M that you could use to thwart his plans. The whole Simpticate wears the Pikachu onesies. It's like, it's like their uniform. Alright, to thwart his plans. Tell me everything you know. Or the next bullet goes in your dome. I'm gonna three six three sixty no scope your ass. Himself. I can tell you where M is if that helps. Obviously that helps you fucking dickhead.
Oh. Okay, he says, thinking. Well, I think he's some old guy that lives outside of some town in Washington. It's a small town, like 2,000 people. Alright. What's the name? You ask. I do apologize for my forgetfulness. Where is he? Yeah, he lives in Twin Peaks, Sallykins. Right now, he's in a little town called Oakwood. You're probably familiar with it, in fact. A pair of teenagers killed one of his agents and tried to frame you for the deed. He's staying with one of his agents there, the man says. That's bullshit. I don't like it. He owns a house on Bourbon Street. It's the one with all of the Christmas lights. You smirk at the man. You look over at the bar, noticing the gun dealer from before. He stands by, looking anxious. If you'll excuse me... Yeah, you know, the Applebee's gun dealer. Grilling good in the neighborhood. With guns. All right. Well. Hmm. Reroll it. Should I reroll it? I'll have a pint and a nine millimeter, please. Ah. <laughs> <gasps> oh. With a shaking hand, the man points across the street. That's the information you're looking for. It's right there. The building he is pointing at is a large apartment building. The apartment building looks run down and abandoned. This is the place. Is it a disgusting uh, hovel? What did they say in the other prompt with the with the the, the doom guy prompt? All right. Story. You go uh, you go to the, uh, large apart, apartment built. Oh, you know what, man? I'm about to go into a fucking large apartment building. What am I going to do? Knock on every door? This is not a good plan. This is not a good plan. We're not done with this fucking guy. Okay. Oh, it's abandoned. Uh, bring the Pikachu d dude with you. Okay. Go to the apartment building and bring the uh, Pikachu dude and bring the Pikachu man with you. The Pikachu man with you. The Pikachu man. You take leave as you walk into the building, pistol out in front of you. You look down at the man in the Pikachu suit. His expression is dead serious. Okay. You're okay. With me, you say. Gladly, the man responds. You search the apartment building for M. The Scungili Man. What is that? Is that the name of this Paper Mario song, The Scungili Man? It seems to be completely abandoned. Where is everyone? You ask. You're looking at it, he responds. I'm it. You keep searching the building, but don't find anyone else in it. What if he... What if he is M? What if he is M? I think that's what he's telling me. Alright. You were going to tell me where Abby Cakes is right now. Because rem remember Abby Cakes? Remember Abby Cakes, chat? Remember? He's going to invite you to the Sympticate. Yeah, who? Yeah. Remember? Tell me where Abby Cakes 99 is. Literally who? Abby Cakes 99. 
Mal, where the fuck did you get that Twitch name? Did you just make that up? It's fucking great. <laughs> it's it's perfect. Greater than you say, tell me where Abikex99 is. Wait, how did you go? <laughs> how did you come up with that? The man looks confused. It's so perfect. Who? Don't play coy with me, M, you say. Where is Abikex99? Yes. How should I know? You pull your pistol out and press it against the man's head. Uh, he definitely is M. He just been fucking with me. I don't know what to... He's M. Don't worry about it. He's M. You wouldn't M. kill me, he says. I have information you need. Where... <laughs> where is Abby Kicks? I denied. Where is she, man? I don't know, the man says. <laughs> you pull the trigger, blowing the side of his face off. He slumps down dead, a torrent of blood spilling onto the floor. The day he was our only lead! He was our only fucking lead! You can't do that, man! Now, you know who we need? Chat. 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 Fine, I'll tell you, the man says. He takes a deep breath and begins to talk. We need armpit. We need armpit. We need fucking armpit. Yeah, we need armpit, dude. We absolutely need armpit. Well, maybe we don't need armpit because apparently he's he's going to tell us. Yeah, we need armpit. She's dead. I killed her. You're lying, you say. Have you ever known me to tell a lie? The man asks with a smug look on his face. No, you say. All right. Do. Call armpit on. Uh, just call armpit and tell him to come to the apartment building. Armpit. Armpit is on the way. Armpit coming in hot. You call armpit and he says he'll come over. He hangs up and you turn to the man. I'm waiting, you say. The man remains silent. Within a few minutes, Armpit arrives. <laughs> this is the apartment. Alright. You ready, chat? Armpit. Give him the pits. <laughs> Give him the pits! Give him the pits! They always talk. They always talk when you give him the pits. Armpit smiles. With pleasure, he says drawing his taser. The man looks worried. He begins to scream as Armpit fires the taser. The man falls to the floor as the darts embed themselves in his back. Alright, now he's down. Now you can give him the pits. I'm gonna just say it again. Ar armpit, give him the pits. Give him the pits! With pleasure, Armpit smiles, no! drawing his taser. The man looks worried. He begins to scream as Armpit fires the taser. The man falls to the floor as the darts embed themselves in his back. Wait. The man yells. Alright, we never gave him the pits. How do we give him the pits? We gotta give him the pits. Armpit smiles. With pleasure, he says, drawing his taser. The man looks worried. Story he that to shit. Scream as Armpit fires the taser. All right, the man all right. falls to the floor as the darts embed themselves in his back. Armpit shoves his disgusting, vile armpits into. The P Pikachu Pikachu man's face. Breathe it in, he says. <laughs> the Pikachu man begins to choke and gag. He tries to turn his head, but Arthur applies pressure to his neck, forcing him to smell the off odor. Breathe it in! Oh, fuck. Okay. You can make this 
You can make this stop. Right now. Just tell us where Abby Cakes 99 is. <laughs> it's gonna work! It's gonna work. The man begins to cry. I don't know. <laughs> Armpit presses harder into the man's neck, forcing him to smell his awful armpits. Tell me where she is. You can see the, the terror. terror in the man's eyes. The terror. <laughs> Calvin says this is the best story tonight. It, it absolutely is, but that's not saying a lot because everything up until this one sucked like legendary amounts of dick. Oh, okay. Okay. Tell us where Abby Cakes 99 is. I'm just going to say it again. And I wasn't going to do this one, too. The man sobs, but doesn't respond. Armpit looks at you. What do you want to do? Give him one more chance, you say. Fine, Armpit says. Do it. Give him the pits. One. Last. Chance. <laughs> I don't know. The man screams, sobbing. <laughs> I swear to the wrong answer, Armpit says pressing his armpit into the man's face. Why is it always an interrogation? What the fuck? <laughs> Give him the pit bars, free my soul. Wow. Oh my god. I swear to G. Not the best pits. What if he actually doesn't know? What if he actually doesn't know? He might just not know. Bring in butt crack? <laughs> butt crack! No. No, no. Why did he leave the letter? I think I have the letter. Yeah, I, uh, I brought it. Don't worry about it. He is M, meme verse. He is M. Show him the letter. That's my idea. Okay. Show him the letter. You found in the car. Wrong answer. Look, I found a letter in the car that the kidnapper was driving. Do you recognize the handwriting? You ask. The man looks at the letter. It looks like M's handwriting, he says. He's not M. He's not M. I think he knows M, but he's not M. He knows M, but he's not M. All right. If you tell us where M is... Um... That'd be... Pretty poggers. Conch Jazz, what's up? Thanks for coming tonight. Poggers. Weren't you driving that the car? Man says, confused. He's gonna pretend he doesn't know what Poggers is. He's gonna pretend he doesn't know what Poggers is. Give him the gamer girl bathwater neat killer. That's not gonna make him talk. That's what he wants. Where is M? Poggers? Guys, he's not even a gamer. Sympachu. I don't know, the man says. Tell me. You say, raising your voice. The man begins to cry. I don't know, I promise. Armpits bathwater would be pretty rough, yeah. Yeah. Let's just... Go back to here. And be like, tell us where M is. Alright, no, no poggers, alright? Because the poggers fucked it up. The man looks at you, his eyes widening. What did you do to him? He asks. Nothing, you say. Just tell us where he is. It's not 1997 anymore, the man says. I don't have a code name. Helix Think says, this thing is so bullshit, no one ever knows anything and it pisses me off. 
You know what it is, Helix Tank? It takes like an hour of interrogation before the AI will just make something up so you stop interrogating. Like, make something up! I don't know, the man says. He lives in apartment 1C. Armpit but, looks thank you, you! And you nod. Tell me where 1C is, you say. It's right next to the gym at the end of the hall. Alright, story. You and Armpit... Go to apartment 1C. Okay? You knock on the door. M, you shout, we need to talk. You hear some <laughs> noises inside. You wait a few seconds. No response. You knock to armpit, and he kicks in the door. You rush in, your gun raised. Moderators, I want you to know that this is what I expect you guys to do if I'm ever in a situation like this, okay? You can, ha you can handle this, right? Like, you you'll do this, right, guys? Yeah, you will, right? Like, fucking roll out with, like, <laughs> with pistols and fucking stab a man in, a, in an Applebee's in full public view to find me. Like, you'll do this, right? <laughs> Which moderator gives him the pits? Uh, I don't know. They're all pretty stinky. Um, I think, it, I, think any, I, think, I think any of them would work. They're pretty stinky. Just kidding. It's like, yeah, call us stinky and then and then and then expect us to come white knight you when you get kidnapped. Yeah. Yeah, okay, asshole. You rush in, your gun raised. Alright. Two. You look for M or Abby Abby how is it fucking spelled? Abby cakes. Abby Cakes 99. You look around the apartment, but neither M nor Abby Cakes 99 are there. He must be at work, you say. What does he do? Umpit asks. Um, I want them to be here. I want them to be here. Wait for him to get home. You want to just like raid his fridge and like play his video games? What does he do? Applebee's. <laughs> Too bad it wasn't Olive Garden. He's a gym teacher at the school Abigax goes to, you say. Oh my well, god! His car is here. We might as well take that, Armpit says. You nod. And begin to drive to the school. He's a d d gym teacher at her school? What the fuck is going on? D d Dude, this is all over the fucking place. Delete all of his save files from his games. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll this. I don't really, don't really think I like it. It's a little bit, a little bit too dark for my tastes. He's a janitor at the nightclub that Abigail much better. 99 was performing at. Thank you, you. much much better. Let's go, Armpit <laughs> says. You and Armpit quickly get into your car and drive off to the nightclub. Do you guys want to hear something beyond fucking amazing? If you watch the Gamer Girl trailer, there is a scene where she's doing like an IRL stream from a nightclub. Go watch it if you don't believe me. Am I wrong? The gamer girl. How, how many of you have no idea what this prompt is, is even a reference to? There's a bunch of people here who have no idea what... Okay. Okay.
Okay. Now this, now this is happening. Now this is happening. Now this is happening. Um. Hey, can I get in trouble for this? Hmm. Oh, guys, I can't find the trailer. No, no, I can't find the the trailer is gone. These are a bunch of like reaction videos. Vinehart linked it. Did they? Yeah, you sure? Okay. Gamer girl. Okay. Okay. Peggy 18. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hey everybody. Okay, this is the game, okay? It's called the Try Not to Cringe Challenge. If you can make it through this entire video without cringing, there's actually probably something really wrong with you, okay? Okay, cool. Water time, break time. All that uh, junk has been taken out my stream. That was, uh, that was the, the streamer, like, not being able to get AI Dungeon to do anything cool. That's what that, oh, come on. That was just, that was just me, like, two hours ago. Moderator, what do I do? Like, do I answer it? Do I answer it, moderator? <laughs> when, so when, wait. <laughs> When I first watched this trailer, and then I tweeted about it, fucking Hergatrafum took took the this still frame from the trailer, right? And then changed this, it, like photoshopped out this pic, and put in the picture of me with the cornrows, <laughs> and said, "How'd they get our private DMs?" <laughs> We should go for a drink after. Yeah, maybe. Yeah? I know, what do you guys think? You got that, guys? There it is. <laughs> no. <We> just... <laughs> There's the seed! There's the seed at the fucking nightclub. <laughs> guys, what is this game? Is it- Dude, is this motherfucker Garfield Kart? <laughs> it's Garfield Kart! They're playing Garfield Kart, man. Oh my god. No, no! <laughs> Abby, you're streaming again? What's it to you? Who the fuck is that? What does that have to do with anything? What? <laughs> oh, wait, her name is Abby Cakes, right? Mal, that's her, that's her fucking... That's her fucking name? Abby Cakes? Abby Cakes. We love you, Abby. Yeah, I think it's a it's Abby Kick. Yeah, you could see it up here, but it's blocked by the fucking okay. All right, now what? Now, now I want to draw specific attention to the next part of the trailer. Okay, watch. It's gonna say, "Choose the story." You see that? Choose the story. Now check out this 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 chart. Right. I want to draw particular attention to this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five choices. And I want you to look at all five of them. <laughs> Go to one fucking choice box. Go to one outcome, one, one outcome, right? Right? Your choices matter! No! But don't worry about it, because your choices matter! <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure he's okay. Fuck. Okay, it's 
startled right now. It was a fursuit head? Was it? There's furries involved now? <laughs> well. And I brought this up before, but... In the, in the tweet thread, right, where people were ragging on this in particular, right? The choose your, your choices matter thing. There was that one guy in the replies who was defending the game. He's like, actually, you guys don't know anything about video game development. And just because the, the choices matter, really, it's just, you guys are just showing your ignorance because the choices do matter. Because even though they look like that, they actually don't mean the fuck. You guys don't know. Don't, you guys, I'm, I'm a video game developer with 20 years of experience that I don't develop video games that you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And it was like, oh my fucking god, we can visually see that it doesn't matter. Shut up! You guys just don't understand anything about develop- Shut up! It's not the point! Shut up! Oh my god. Yeah, he was defending the simulator. The, the simulator. Alright, well, now you get it. Go to the nightclub. Enter the nightclub and look for M. Wonderful! Armpit, enter the nightclub. Call M over. You say to Armpit. Armpit shouts at a chubby, short man in a blue uniform cleaning the bathroom. Hey, you're M, right? The man nod slowly. Hmm. Chat, what should I do? Moderators, tell me what to do. Wonderful! Uh, just kill him? No, because we don't... He, he has to... Alright. <clears throat> he has to tell us where Abby Cake says. Okay? Alright. Pistol whip him until he bleeds. I needed to put you, uh, you. You walk over to him. He tries to escape, but you grab him by his hair and pistol whip him. His head snaps back as blood spurts from his face. He falls to the floor, covered in blood. What the hell did you do that for? Do a lively jig. You like how violence is always my first option? Time for dead end interrogation number two. Well, what do you, what do you, what do you want? You, you want me to, you want me to like, just ask him like he's gonna tell me? All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Hey, M. Do you know where Abby Cakes 99 is? Abby Cakes. Is he just gonna say no? Do you know where Abby Cakes 99 is? M stares at you, saying nothing. He turns and walks <laughs> I tried to back avoid towards it. the bathrooms. <gasps> You I did my best! Point it at M's back. Tell I, me where she is, or I'll shoot. I did my best to avoid this. I did try to avoid this. M continues walking. You pull the trigger, and M falls to the ground. Blood spreads out from his body, staining the tile floor around him. M, tell me where she is, or I'll kill you, you say. M continues to remain silent. That you guys know what it's time for. You guys... You guys know what it's time for. Armpit? Give him the pits. <laughs> Give him the pits. 
Give him the pits. It's time for a pit stop. A small bottle of chloroform and dumps it on a rat. <laughs> he wraps it around the mouth of M and covers his face with it. M struggles to breathe, but lacks the strength to knock armpit arm away. Oh yeah, it's time for a pit stop. That's right. Story. Story. Okay. Armpit shoves his uh, rancid, smelly, gross armpits into M's fucking nostrils. All right, no fucking, cause I don't. I'm afraid it's gonna get weird. Okay. Armpit shoves his rancid, no! gross armpits into M's nostrils. Armpit, the true MVP. He's the arm VP, dude. Dude, we we would we would have never have gotten anywhere. Your gag reflex almost kicks in as the pungent odor reaches your nostrils. <laughs> M struggles to get away, but eventually succumbs to the combination of chloroform and armpit armpits. Armpit armpits. Unconscious. Armpits armpits. <laughs> I was saying we never would have have gotten anywhere in any of these these prompts. If it wasn't for Armpit and his unique interrogation techniques. Alright. You tie M up in the janitor closet and begin the inter interrogation. <sighs> Dude, you didn't even need the chloroform. You could have just used your armpits, Armpit. Raderat says to use the story prompt to make M give in. You tie M up in the janitor closet and begin the interrogation. Well, don't you want to watch Armpit, like, shove his armpits into his face for, like, two hours first? You want it to be that easy? You interrogate M, and he tells you where Abby Cakes is. Okay? You interrogate M and he tells you where Abikex 99 is. Let's go fuck myself. He used fucking you chloroform. You call the police and they show up shortly after. You have him arrested. You pull out your cell phone and call Armpit. Hello? Hey, Armpit. I need you at Abikex 99's apartment. What? What? Why are the cops involved? No, the cops can't be involved because then they're going to be the White Knights. I need to be the White Knight. But she has a house. Yes. You take him back to the apartment and lock him in the bathroom. You go down to yeah! the basement. Yeah! Was that hard AI Abigail dungeon? 99 gagged, bound, and unconscious. You pull off her gag and untie her. Abby Cakes, are you okay? Who are you? <laughs> huh? You hear a faint Who the voice fuck are from you? the corner of the basement. Who's there? It's me, Abby Cakes. <laughs> I came to save you. Hey, that doesn't make any fucking sense! Yeah, I'm fine. Who are you? <laughs> she I'm said, Jane. who are you? We're going to get you out of here. Dude, I'm not Jane. What the fuck? Oh my god, chat. What if she kidnapped herself? I'm Jane now. Why am I Jane now? Well, to be fair, I mean, we never said what my name was. So, okay. Alright. I rescued you from that simp. 
Can you say bike for me as a reward? I rescued you from that simp. Can you say bike for me as a reward? What the hell did you do to my boyfriend? Jane screams. Give us your car or I'll kill your boyfriend. Armpit says, giggling. Armpits, calm the fuck down, dude. Okay? Not now. Not, shh, not right now. Armpit. <laughs> sure, she says. Bye. Yes! Okay, let's go. You and Abicakes 99 exit the basement, where two police officers await. We got an anonymous tip that there was a yes! woman in this house. We should take you in for questioning. Poggers! Poggers? One of the officers are <laughs> puzzled. Yeah, it's a new me. <laughs> it's like you begin. I don't want to know, the officer says, cutting you off. <laughs> well... All's pog that ends pog. Yeah! <laughs> That's one of the worst <laughs> things I have ever heard. I'm taking you into custody. The officers handcuff you and bundle you into their cruiser. They arrest you for kidnapping, and you go on trial. You're sentenced to eight years in prison. Yeah! Uh, the end! The end! That's the end! That's the end! That's, that's the end, that's it! Uh, eight years for pogging. The end. What are you talking about? Doesn't know what to say. What? Oh my god, yes. Oh. Epilogue. Epilogue. The dream. You wake up. You're in a small room, with white walls and dirty carpet. In front of you is a table, with three men and two women seated opposite you. One of the men stands up. Hello, Jacob, the man says. Yeah, it's a dream. Thanks for playing. Give us a like if you enjoyed this game. Like, comment, and subscribe, baby. You know what? That's fine. Alright, so how do you publish this shit? Publish... Uh... You gotta walk me through it again, I don't remember how I did it last time, chat. Edit Adventure. Title. Gamer Girl. Revenge... Revenge... Neck... Neckening. The revenge and neckening. It's like revengeance and also reckoning. Sons of Simperty. <laughs> the Sons of si Simperty is good too. That's not getting topped. <laughs> That's not getting topped. No. I get topped. Oh, fucking Christ alive. Uh, uh. Oh, description. I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna put the dis I'm just gonna put the prompts. Uh. Oh my god. Uh. Quests. Uh, you have to uh, find out what happened uh, to Abby Cakes. Uh, don't 
tag it as NSFW this time. I didn't tag it as NSFW last time. Of the, uh, Knight with the K. White. Knight. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's perfect, yeah. Um... Find out what happened to Abby. It does end on the prison sentence, Ang Mango de Fuego. Uh, it does. It does end on the prison sentence. It does. Doesn't it? No. the dr The dream got deleted. The dream got. De I deleted the dream. I did. No, I did. It's gone. It's gone. Ch chill. Find out. Right, trumpet. You're. Your choices matter. <laughs> Your choices matter. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Gamer girl. Uh, um, I don't know, man. Did I even bother to do this? Uh. Uh. Poggers. Uh, hmm. What else? Uh, yeah, I don't. We don't need to play Gamer Girl now. None of us need to play Gamer Girl now. Drama. Oh, okay. Uh, the Syndicate. Mi mystery. Okay. Mystery. Um, comedy. I guess it was kind of funny. Com comedy. S simp. <laughs> simp. <laughs> gaming. Gaming. Definitely gaming. By the way, I want to point out to you that the entire throughout this entire story, Abby Cakes didn't play a single fucking video game. Okay, just saying. Just saying. Just fucking saying. The symposium. Applebee's and fine cuisine. It's even got a twist where like you're you're a woman or something. Like I not I don't, I don't know if that's the twist. I didn't see it coming. Procedural. Why would I do that? They're all procedural. Yeah, it was like the Metroid twist. Should I put that in the tags? Metroid twist. Published. Is it done? I think it's done. Symphony of the White Knight. <laughs> Guys, what is this doing here? What the fuck is this doing here? Because the fucking F word is in it. Eight years in the hole and my only crime was the pug. <laughs> That's what should have happened. Oh, well, look. We had the simp to kit in here. And that turned out to be fucking pointless and unnecessary. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Bike, right? Just relive all the moments for a second. Damn, that's poggers. You think to yourself how funny that was as you drift <laughs> you tripped off to sleep. Wow, this was a fucking a ride, dude. <laughs> oh, holy shit. This was quality. It's building up lore. Uh, it's, it, it feels unnecessary. I almost want to just delete that one paragraph with the syndicate. Since it turned out to be completely pointless and unrelated to anything. Yeah, there was memes too. We had me we get memes in there. Oh yeah. Then there was this. We got the pits. 
Man, what a journey. One last chance. <laughs> oh, Christ. It's not even that long. It felt like it was because we were making it, but... I think it's the perfect length. Well, you know what it is, Yellow Clark Kent? You know when they say that don't introduce a gun in the first act if that gun isn't going to be used by the third act or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's like pointless. Ah, eh, who gives a shit? There it is. You can find that now if you want, I guess. Thanks for playing. Shut up. All right. Well, it is midnight. I'm not sure if we should push our luck with this fucking thing, you know? Um, thanks so much for to playing my game. Uh, all right, maybe one more. Maybe one more. Mal had another good one where it's like, you are an Animal Crossing villager named Raymond. What was that? Can I see that one? I did, I didn't I didn't copy paste that one. Six custom. This one is from Murpho. You are Tony Montana. Your partner Sosa has sent a hit squad to your mansion after you failed to kill an informant who had evidence incriminating him. As you cradle your dead sister in your arms, you realize it's time to unleash your secret weapon. Your chocolate blend. Uh-huh. What does it even mean? You know what it means. The plan is simple. You will enter the mansion through one of the front doors and open fire on the assassins as they come out of their hideout. The only problem? There are several hidden rooms that can be- Dunkachino. This is gonna be dog shit. So, uh, let, me, let me copy and paste the Animal Crossing one. Also, Vinehart, I have one from- I have one from you here, too. But I don't know if we're gonna get to it tonight. Say hello to my chocolate blend, baby. Accessed from different areas of the house. Alright. The plan is simple. You will enter the mansion through one of the front doors and open fire on the assassins as they come out of their hideout. The only problem? There are several hidden rooms that can be accessed from different areas of the house. You know, I mean, we're having the... the, the we're not entering any mansion at all. The, our mansion is, is getting fucking... raided. Data squad arrives at the mansion, and the tear armed with them in minus 16 seconds. They open fire on you as your family looks on helplessly. Medici de secondi. Helplessly. 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 Okay. <clears throat> you unleash your chocolate blend. A, uh, a weapon that shoots scalding hot coffee out like a fire hose. <laughs> but there is only so much this concoction can do for you. You fall from your chair, unable to take more attention. <laughs> Fortunately, you survive. Date squad is wiped out by your chocolate brew. But not <laughs> the chocolate before brew. one of them tries to eat it. How do you eat coffee, bro? Has 27 flavors on the my blood. 27 flavors owned my blood. Maybe that's the gourmet blood that was brought up before. It shoots coffee beans. The bean form. He's eating the bean form. 
The AI doesn't know what to fuck. Oh my god. Bean gun. Okay. Use the coffee bean gun to execute the hit squad. Say hello to my chocolate blend! <laughs> His blood is coffee. Oh my god. Sottolineatura in 5 miliardi 882 milioni 930 mila 332. Start work music. True. Begin dittice closure 141 miliardi 137 milioni 211 mila 13. End dittice closures. Faccina triste. Sottolineatura at. Faccina triste. Cross references. Yeah, dude. All, all that, huh? After quickly taking stock, neither the Dagman reside or office currently enjoys levels are commonplace or rapid disintegration coffee regarded public, let me determine beneficially or assets assassinate to material space barons which solve any web to- I, 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 I get it. I get it. I fucking get it. Communication complex references- I get, I get it. Still reinformation early where needed determine collect traces before. This is no way to live. This is no way to die. Damn, you said it. Hashtag relatable. I don't think the Dunkachino meme is going to go anywhere here, guys. Oh, God. God, okay. Six. Bubba Fair says you're not trying hard enough. What what could I have done differently? What do you want me to do different? I have fucking three buttons. What do you want me to do differently? You are Raymond's. You have been passed around from island to island by a bunch of Animal Crossing Instagram accounts looking to go viral by putting you in boxes. You are out to get revenge on the internet for your besmirched reputation. Besmirched, nice word. The first thing you do is take down the account, which takes all day and night. The next step is to create another one that will be more believable. This time it's going to be called Raymond the Dog. Raymond the Dog. Okay, that's that's close. Okay, so now Raymond the Dog. What's his plan though? Like what is his plan? He takes down an Instagram his own Instagram account and then makes a fake account. I don't I don't I don't get it. To change his image. Well, he's trying to get revenge. He's gonna catfish. It has to be a name that people can relate with. Rela you relate. Name, you spend hours creating a fake Facebook page, we to then post to. Editing early on in the story is your chance to prevent loops and weird oddities. Oddities. So, I mean, all you gotta do is go in here and then just post the prompt, I think. Maybe. T to Titanium says, IMO, this prompt is inherently insane. Um, there's a reason why I wasn't gonna do it, you know? I mean, I, I, knew, I knew it was gonna be mental. I knew it was going to be fuck mental. We need prompts where, like, you don't have to do shit like this, you know? You're not sure if you should make it a picture or video, but you decided it since it's a dog. Decided it. Why not? Alright, you know what? <clears throat> We're not getting anything out of this. I'm going to try one more. I'm going to try one more and then I'm going to wrap up. So let me say thank you now, guys. Thank you for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed this as much as possible. I know it sucked the big pee-pee. 
up until like just that that one last story. But you know what? What are you what are you gonna do, man? That's AI dungeon. Man. What are you what are you gonna do, right? Um, but I hope you 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 were able to enjoy it as much as possible, regardless, despite you know what we, what, what seemed to be technical difficulties, honestly, more than anything. Um, if anybody is new and is interested in this, if you're new to the channel, you can find me on Twitter. I'm also on YouTube, where you can find the previous two streams of AI Dungeon, which were like I don't know, almost almost start to finish. Great, like that that first one had like, I'm gonna say like half the night was actually really good. At least half the night was really good, and then that second AI Dungeon stream. Like, I thought, I thought that entire night was fucking gold. That entire night. All, all the prompts were gold. We, we only did, like, three of them that night. It was just that, especially that Pokemon one, like, we spent a lot, a lot of time on it, right? Uh, and if you made any art, um, you should put it on the Buru, right? This one's from Vineheart. Your name is Naruto. Believe it! Your ultimate dream is to become the Hokage, the ruler of your ninja village. You'll prove to everyone that you can achieve this through hard work while still being a dumbass. Suddenly, ninja from an enemy village start to... What? Arrive at your doorstep. Tear to kill you and take over your village. Oh no, time to do sexy ninja jutsu! Alright. Do. Sexy ninja jutsu. What else can I- what else can I do? What- is there really another option available to me right now? Because I don't think there is. The Bukage? <laughs> uh, the Bukage? <laughs> Sexy Ninja Jutsu. You turn forward with your sword in hand, swinging it around as you swing it down on the nearest one. The blade slices through flesh and bone before cutting into the red. Blood spirts out all over you as they fall backward screaming in pain. Completely fucking ignored. Completely fucking ignored. Completely ignored. Completely ignored. Not very sexy at all. You pull the blade out and swing it again, cutting the through cloth and the skin. You pull it out and they fall to the floor dead. Oh my you god, it's ass. You with a wild shout, not knowing what happened after that. It's your ass. Your memory was swinging your sword at another enemy. You grab your sword and prepare for battle. This thing refuses to acknowledge sexy ninja jutsu. We need more randomness? You grab your sword and prepare for battle. You unleash a flurry of kicks, punches and ninjik slaps on them all, causing them to fly away. Ninjik. The next one land right between their eyes. KXZ is, is trying to tell- what are you trying to tell me, dude? Yeah, Naruto never had a sword. I, I don't know what the fuck. Right. The AI has no idea who Naruto is. I was kind of excited to do some, um, you know, like IP stuff because I know that other people are are, are are doing that. Like, look at the look at how the Pokemon one went, for example. But uh, I mean, if it, it feel like I had assumed that the thing might know why, like, what Naruto was, which was part of why I did it. But look at this shit. It's not acknowledging Naruto. Like, it's not... Like, it doesn't know what it is. 
Naruto's pretty popular. I know, but look, it doesn't care. Bolomar says you're fucking up the input in the, in the first place. Okay. Use Shadow Clone Jutsu. Use Shadow Clone Jutsu. You. You use Shadow Clone Jutsu. You create a clone of yourself. The clones are all identical copies of you. They have no knowledge or memories of anything except what they were told by you when creating them. What? Can, can it be relevant? You immediately begin to cast your clone Zeus as soon as you enter the room. The first one instantly takes control of a couple of the ninjas in front of you before they even know what going on or evil then, several more follow suit, though their clones are weaker than yours. <clears throat> Suddenly, all of your created clones are on with laughter. Hey, it's a shiki. Look over it's a shiki. You chuckle as you find another target to give the girl hard time. You figure that you can piss them off while your shadow clones do all of the work. You figure that you can piss them off while your shadow clones do all the work. Alright. Uh, what the hell? Isashiki. They made up a, a vaguely Naruto-ish sounding name. Alright. What's the point? Um, okay. You wake up. Naruto and his clones are surrounding you. Isashiki is somebody's OC, you merg? You think so? A Naruto? <laughs> A Naruto OC? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe Omni Seed was also somebody, somebody's, like, made-up Pokemon, too? Alright. Uh... You let the the uh, shadow clones fight the ninjas while you go get some ramen. Man, running around using two all day is tough. Maybe you'll get some ramen to replenish your chakra threshold after winning this incoming fight. What incoming fight? It, it kind of knows, Sallykins. Yeah, it knows. Little do you know someone in the restaurant traps you within its walls. Remember that villains tend to lie. Note, you can attempt this energy you mod each time you rebirth and still retain all your memories and abilities. I'm, I'm getting a fucking tutorial, dude. Why am I getting a tutorial? Wait, what, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <sighs> okay. Uh... You use somebody in chat said to make up a jutsu. All right, smegma jutsu. No, 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 I don't do that, Michael. Armpit jutsu, give him the pits, the pits jutsu. <laughs> chocolate surprise jutsu. <laughs> you use chocolate. Blend Jutsu. <laughs> Use chocolate blend Jutsu. Unfortunately, rather than the dish of chocolate covering everyone around you, green toxic waste spills out all over the people at your immediate left right. Suddenly, a mini clone is sitting innocently on your shoulder. Whom you completely forgot existed, punches you, knocking you into sleep in a town. Oh boy, I can't wait to see where I wake up! And by the way, what's a mini clone? Sleepiness town. <laughs> Sleepiness town, yeah. Just when he opened up uh, before everything. Uh, went uh, for everyone across the street who didn't glab onto the industrial sharp green salad, they smear it on their greatest competitor employee across from them, nodding to each other. Y yep Yep. Yep. Yeah. Co cool. Co cool. Very cool. 
Very cool. Um, hmm. Maybe you want to try that again. 3791 holy crap that was a disappointing ending. I thought it would at least taste like chocolate or something. Man, that really was a disappointing ending. Guys, thanks for coming again. I hope you have a wonderful night. Uh, please be safe and, and, and uh, smart and everything, you know. Uh, take care of yourselves, guys. Right? Love you all so much. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the subs, resubs, the bits. All that financial uh, uh, support from you guys means so much. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Um, and uh, more than that, just thanks for watching, man. There's no show without an audience, as they say. Uh, even if the show sucks tonight, this this, this stream sucked. Uh, but you know what? They can't all be winners. Uh, and I'm I'm ready to refund all of your mom's money that you used to sub and and donate. I'm ready to refund all that money to your mom's debit card. Uh, as, uh, retribution for the stream sucking penis. Um. Oh, yeah, okay, bike. <laughs> he said the thing. He said the thing. Thank you for the, uh, the bits there, Sallykins. Um, where is this Buru link? Hmm. Get that boo link there. Thank you. Here we traffic him. Uh, what do we got? We got something here from Barbaloo. And it looks like a pizza that has the Venetian mask on it. It's a Jabroni Mike pizza. And it has, like, my face on it. Odd. Also, are those bananas... On the pizza? Did you put bananas on the pizza? My pizzona. Nice. I am, uh... Very confused by this, but it's cute as fuck. If there was a... If this is a reference to something that somebody said or, or, or something, I'd like to know, but I don't... I guess I don't have to. It's, uh... It's beautiful and cute. Regardless. Okay. Uh... What else? I see something here from... Oh, Zumba Fitness working on their Jabroni Mike themed theme park in Planet Coaster. Look at this, guys. Squan Dog and Bungle Puss ride the Willy Coaster. Thank you. Super Lookout Cart. Detective Pikachu got to shoot them all. The Meat Boys spin. <laughs> the Hot Log Tower. Sonic and the Secret Rings. These are all rides. Millennial Angst Ferris Wheel. Splatted Jabroni Journey. Mike's Mood Swinger. Moisty drinks and Nathan's and also Dunkachinos. Welcome to the family hotel. I like it. It's looking real cool. Uh, Zumba Fitness. Uh, keep keep updating me. Uh, I got one more thing here. Just uploaded. It's from Max Zlock, and it's your boy. Arm armpit, the persuader. He knows how to be very persuasive indeed. Pit suasive. He's very pit suasive. The man, the legend, armpit. <laughs> you know what's great? This looks like pussy if pus if pussy had male pattern baldness, <laughs> which is just which just works so well. The persuader. Fucking great. <laughs> Armpit. Everyone's everyone's favorite. It's his pit sona, trumpet dude. I like that. His pit sona. Yeah, Doc Jackal. When I say pussy, I'm talking about a person. Alright, guys. Uh there is a high likelihood that I am not gonna stream tomorrow night. Uh or tomorrow at all. Uh, but it's not a hundred percent. Stay tuned. Uh most definitely, I'm going to stream Sunday night. 
I might want to uh, get back to Pap. But... I, like, I want to play it, but I'm also, like, dreading the, the puzzle the aspect of it. Like, the puzzles are annoying me. I'm not, like, I'm not good at them, and they're... Annoying. I don't know. Maybe. And yes, I will cancel the AI Dungeon subscription. Thank you, guys. What would I do without you? Having a Twitch channel is like having a couple of hundred private secretaries. It's great. Guys, have an awesome night. I'll see you soon. Again, either tomorrow, probably not tomorrow, but most definitely Sunday. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>